Deku made a comment with his movement about how his oh movement. Oh my god! Improved. It was due I, to dancing. Oh god! It was due to dancing. I told you. <laughs> he can't even. He's still struggling with his dancing. He can't do like the. Whoa, 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 it's, it's David, not, David, It's not as David. fluid. Let's not calm fluid. down on right. grilling this man's Dude, dance. Right. All right. <laughs> he's the only one he's... in the group that can't dance yet. No, no, like, he's I mean, still, this dude is, like, stuff. legit doing three jobs at once, bro. <laughs> mm-hmm. David, I'm going to have to see a video of you dancing and, uh, <laughs> exactly. and uh, yeah, yeah, showing up on. You're not going to see that. podcast week 10 of the winter 2020 season on the show we'll be talking about the current season of anime airing every week i'm your host david and joining me today we have shren hello everyone and next up we have brian oh hi and finally we have ku <laughs> hello hello just to let our viewers know we're uh we're uh we're recording this at 9 p.m so we always record at 9 p.m so it's no different yeah that's not I, I just met about brian's uh ohio so oh, oh i didn't even... i just i don't know what that means so you know it's morning somewhere <laughs> <laughs> you got him <laughs> all right um the only news we have this week is basically re-zero season two got delayed to summer because of coronavirus Rip. i'm kidding i'm a few strand okay when i first saw that, that like oh, oh. when i first saw like the news i didn't even think too much about like oh no we lost reason i thought like oh god other shows could be it, this could happen to other shows too i mean it could i was worried i was worried about my snafu it could still happen to other shows because that's fine a lot take of... my sword not my snafu sort of airing late anyways so they'll have plenty of time oh. to get done because uh yeah. basically like a lot of the contractors are in china and korea and people haven't been able to work and also, um, Japan basically like they, they like, uh, they, like cut off people from so they, China and Korea. They took them all back. So like, and basically, was, people were saying like, you know, you know, Japan, like the country that has like fiber optics almost everywhere in the city, they still like have a lot of like the data for anime like on like physical tapes, and they just basically just ship it on airplanes. Okay. Instead cool. of, you know, just, like, sending everything over the internet on their fiber connection, they still always want to ship it. Because that's Japan. I mean, the internet it's... can't travel over water, right? So, it, I mean, it makes sense, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I believe that's how it works. Yes. Yes. As my, yeah, right, my IT, my IT uh, yeah, knowledge and <laughs> in major <laughs> definitely tells me that's true. Yes. Mm-hmm. But, makes um, sense. Because we already, we already had a couple shows got pushed this summer, but there weren't anything like that big. Rezero was the biggest. Nothing major, yeah. So mm. it could still happen. Like there's still <laughs> it could still be a lot of like delays happening. So and and the thing is like anime is very like there's so like it's it's very like like last minute like production. So that's why like like even though like the season's airing like you know less than a month like they saw the delay because they weren't ready because that's that's how. That's how overworked these animes are. They do everything. They have to do everything last minute because they're so overworked. I mean, let's be honest. It's probably because they're running on Asian time, and Asian people are always late. Uh, no, so. not Japanese people. I think it's uh, more of Japanese the American are, way. Japanese people are all like they're punk. Show. They're like they're like the only one the country that doesn't do Asian time. But are they Asian? So technically, they run on Asian time. They don't. They're not late. Sure. <laughs> Sure. I'm ready to move on, whatever, guys. The only, yeah, <laughs> the only ones that are not late, and yeah. So that's basically it for anime news. Uh, we're gonna move on next to uh, My Hero Academia. Uh, this episode, I, I was actually exci- like a little excited for this episode because finally something was happening besides just like we actually got to see a fight happen instead of just watching t- Gentle Criminal do his Can stupid I- videos. Can I just say, dude, the gentle criminal is actually pretty strong. Dude, that's what we said too. <laughs> yeah. We're like, damn, this guy's quirk is actually pretty sick. <laughs> like, the fact that he was able to take out a few heroes before in that convenience store, it made you wonder what kind of power he had. So I already assumed that he was really strong, but his quirk is like insane. I felt like if he didn't have that weird, um, like that weird personality that he has of his, and he was more like vicious, 
like maybe, she's staying. But maybe he has that weird personality because of his work. Pro- probably, probably. But I think it's due to that that he's not considered like to be a menacing or like a, a villain to be worried about. But yeah. he's, I think he's like insanely strong. When they when they first kind of showed like what his like when they first announced like, what his quirk was, I was like, wait, what the fuck? And then they like just like how they were like uh like utilizing it. I just thought like, damn, that's actually a pretty sweet quirk. <laughs> yeah, he can change the elasticity of air. Dude, yeah, that's, that's pretty intense. That's insane. Yeah. See, I wasn't, Brian, your thoughts I, I wasn't have been very quiet. But, yeah. Nah, you were paying attention, David. You were the host of this show. I wasn't paying. I don't pay. I wasn't paying attention to his arc, so I didn't notice. I didn't pay attention to, like the the video the convenience store robbery or anything. Yeah, if I had care. the power to just like what? mute your mic, just basically <laughs> right there. All right, guys, show's <laughs> over. <laughs> we got All right, next end of the season. Got, what do we got next? Oh, the book on Haiku. But no, uh, Brian. What, what, I'm sorry, I, I missed what you said. What, like, what? Where did you like this episode more than like the rest? Because I know you hated this. Like, what was happening yeah, before this? I mean, it was kind of cool to see, but like, it doesn't get like my balls tingling you know i don't okay. get that feeling with this <laughs> true if, if, if true. we didn't okay if we didn't see the movie and then we didn't have like that you know like deku's like air cannon spoiled for us i think that well, yeah whole, all right that yeah, would have been that, a lot more cool. Right. i wasn't i wasn't gonna discuss the movie but yeah. looking back that movie actually spoiled the fuck out of that part yeah. i was like yo <laughs> yeah what the fuck? i legit just remember the last episode that we watched was he's just learning how to flick air yeah. Out of nowhere in the movie, this dude's got like a fucking machine gun. I'm like, where the <laughs> fuck did that come? Yeah, but, the, yeah the, the gauntlets and everything so, ready for yeah, it. I, so, I didn't even realize the gauntlet was there in the movie, but that was a that was a decent spoiler. But it's not it's not too crazy. The movie's not canon anyway. Yeah, but, not, not, but, but it, that, what, I mean, that's the dumbest part of the movie. It's not canon, but it's still spoiled. To anime watchers. It's, <laughs> it still has canon parts to it, so like, but I, so like so I, I definitely think like when they first showed like when uh, Deku like first kind of shot, I think it would have been it would have felt a lot more like impactful if we didn't if, if they didn't show that in the movie or if they if we didn't you know, like if we didn't see the movie, right? I think, I think that whole scene would have been a lot more you know meaningful, I guess. I I don't know, dude. I feel like it would be more meaningful if like there was more shit on the line. It's like ooh, this dude's gonna set off an alarm and stop a hi- a school festival yeah Woo! yeah, that, yeah that. it's like I, it's like all right there's really no like big risk involved here it's a school festival we're talking about i mean the, the big the big thing that keep they keep making a big deal of is just because like the, you know, they're, 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 well they're they're on heightened security because of like everything that's happened but you just don't feel it like you don't feel like there's this tension like just because like i think it's just, yeah because the last arc didn't like it didn't and it didn't like build made i don't know it didn't make the situation like any any bigger so like just right. so that that's that feeling that deku has where he he's so afraid, he just wants things to be more stable that's why he's trying so hard for the school festival you just don't feel it because yeah yeah well and also because like with gentle criminal like he's not wanting to kill anybody he just wants to get in like mm-hmm. record he's there he was able to break in and then it just sounds like he I, just wants to get... i totally forgot why he's doing all this uh for attention for attention yeah, youtube Dude, he's yeah. a youtuber well, I mean, man <laughs> He has more views than us, so he's a but he's a he's the equivalent of oh, actually no, he's not. Never mind. I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna degrade him to uh, the person I have in my mind. Okay, right. But, um... but no, I mean he he has he has like a motive, and even though it's kind of silly, uh, again, like this whole arc has just been kind of laid back, nothing too serious, nothing too intense. So yeah. I I feel like it it plays into it perfectly with the mood that they're trying to set with this arc. Yeah. Um, but I mean it, it like to me at least it, it makes sense, you know like why he's doing it even though it's kind of pointless but this episode like this last episode i actually started liking gentle criminal when i was just like so hard on this guy dude like, i, I was him. telling you and he's so he, good he, yeah when he busted out the stuff and just like we i guess you learned like a little bit more about like kind of look up what's going on mm-hmm. i actually like this guy so i hope it would be kind of maybe he's, uh, he's totally a one-off <laughs> you think so i was thinking yeah, i was like totally yeah. i was like I was, like I was thinking i was like i wonder if this guy could somehow become like a like a was an anti-hero where he kind of like maybe he might show up like later in the future at some point like for heroes or something or uh mm, you know something like that like from the possibility because i can't see him being just straight up evil because it doesn't seem like he's like he's really evil in any way he's just like right you like how you said Coop. you know attention youtube you know yeah i don't know it's like everybody else because like i don't know it's hard to think of like any other characters coming back from here my here academia because like it's it's hard enough showing off the class yeah, so it's like it's so it's hard to like bring up people from previous arcs, like 
don't know. I mean, there's there's always a possibility because we don't really know who's going to be the main focus in the future. Yeah. Um, so, it, it, like I said, it's always a possibility. And then with uh, with La Brava about to show off her quirk as well in the next episode. That's right. Yeah. I mean, there's always a possibility that they'll just like they'll they'll do their best, they'll fail, and it looks like La Brava also has like the same mentality as the Chota criminal. She's not really like malicious in any way she just wants to see the gentle criminal succeed with his plan yep um so i i totally can see them like like swapping roles later in the future right they 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 see the errors of the ways they they come back and they end up helping the others or just just something along the line like that so um yeah because i mean he hasn't really done it because like when he when he went to the convenience store like he didn't did he he didn't take any of the money did he no, no. he left it there okay that's what i thought no, it's not for no. Like yeah, it's it's for attention. It's not for the money, right? Right. He's just like, trying to wow. show a message, you know, like the Joker, but not right. not as <laughs> sinister. <laughs> right. Yeah, just yeah, yeah it's not as edge lord. You know, not nearly as yeah, not nearly as like depth. Right. So I don't know. Like I said, I think it's not too bad. I think it's a pretty decent character. Oh, this arc. That I mean, this has been my yeah. favorite episode. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hotsman is badass too. So oh, good. and then one thing I want to mention, David. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, Deku made a comment with his movement about how his oh movement. Oh my had god! Improved. It was due I, to dancing. Oh god! It was due to dancing. I told you. <laughs> he can't even. He's still struggling with his dancing. He can't do like the. Whoa! 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 It's, whoa! It's not, David, David, it's not as David. fluid. Let us calm fluid. down on right. grilling this man's Dude, dance. Right. All right. Else, he's the only one he's... in the group that can't dance yet. No, no, like he's I mean, still, this dude is like stuff. legit doing three jobs at once, bro. <laughs> mm-hmm. David, I'm gonna have to see a video of you dancing and uh, <laughs> exactly <laughs> then, uh, yeah, 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 showing up on. You're not gonna see that, right? Oh, okay, then then you can't. Oh, cool, your light went out. But um, oh, okay. then you can't. But you, but you can't just hate on the guy, man, because because we don't we don't have uh we don't have um what is it what is it rhythm, David? So we have we 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 cannot make make fun of his uh. Of his dancing or movements, the the thing that I thought was really stupid though is just like when they like the one night where they and the reason why Deku went out was to get a rope, and I kept thinking like just wake up, just wait in the morning for her to wake up and then make have her make a damn rope. It's a rope. She's fine. Listen, like, she needs to be able to do that. She's already nervous enough. You don't want to stress her. Out. Then they also I said like done the same exact thing. And then they also said like oh you know it's, you know she's not like a hardware store or whatever the the term was. That yeah, bro, really she's not a tool. So, okay, right? that's fine. That's, that's okay, that's fine. But it's just it's a rope. Like it's, does, it we seems just so... had like National Women's Day, dude. What's wrong with you? <laughs> wow, he's right. Okay, okay. Wow. I'm saying it's just like it's, there, it's, like, it's, <laughs> it's just a rope thing. Like it's not like if it was like something like you know like. uh God, let's say like if they for some reason needed like a vehicle or some like like intense shit, don't do that. Go just go out and rent it. But it's just like it's just a rope. I don't think she can make a vehicle. I think it's like whatever because it comes out. I don't think I think it has to be like David. She makes a cannon. No, she it comes from her lipids. She can make anything she wants. Yeah, she can make the parts then eventually to get to the car. Okay, David. I thought the limitation was. (laughs) I about the whole thing. I thought the limitation was like the size of her body or something like. Okay, then she can just like, have like part that come out, you know, part after part, and have somebody else put it together. You're fine, like, then. Okay. If it wasn't for the movie, I would believe that would be the case. But the the canon she had in the movie the was she didn't insane. make two canons. Then again, it wasn't canon. It's not canon though. So yeah. it's not canon, but I every mean, aspect the movie, of the movie it was accurate. Canon shit, so it yeah. did. you never it know did. which yeah. canon is dumb. Bro. Right. I just want to bring up too, that, um, because of the movie though, like I actually remember more of the classmates, like like. Like the electric electricity guy, I never remember him at all. But now because of the movie, Denki's badass. I yeah. I I don't even, I still don't remember his name, but I totally remember. Denki. Denki, because I think Denki. Oh, like, Denki's electricity. Yeah, Denki's not electricity. Yeah. 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 So like, yeah. yeah. So I I and like even like um, yeah, like the other people like, well, we didn't see yeah. much in this arc, but I just when I see them in the show, I'm like, okay, yeah, you're this person because you did this in the movie. That's what I think of now. So. Yeah, like I said before, I mean, it was like I just missed the class, you know, like the classmates so much, and then it's just like now we finally get the classmates, but it's for a, it's for um a, a dance thing, or it's for a play, which is kind of depressing. It's not a play, so. bro. It's a concert. That's true. Okay, class B bad. is doing a play. Actually, uh, get your fault. facts straight, my bro. <laughs> my bad. Damn, Brian. Don't mix like... them up, man. <laughs> Uh, but I, I, I really, I really don't have anything else. But the next episode, though, from the preview, seems like it's the last episode. Of, least, or, least... sorry, not the last episode, but the last like of the fight. And then yeah, I think, the then, then, it's I think go, it's yeah, then it's two. gonna go. I think yeah, 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 I should have cleared. 
yeah i should have uh that was my bad yeah i should say like yeah it's um it's like it's i think it's the last one of the fight with uh with uh yeah, with Deku. Yeah. yeah and then i then i think it's over then i think they're gonna just focus on finishing up the school play and then you know maybe set it up for the next arc for the next villain there's four episodes left by the way there's four. Oh my god yeah. I think four episodes is the whole thing just man i wonder if like is the arc even this long in the manga or are they just stretching out for the anime i have no idea i mean stressing it out i mean i might have uh i might have the numbers mixed you know like, i may i may have missed one too i have no idea um i don't know what the numbers are for Crunchyroll, um or what number they're on for Crunchyroll? because i know they they like they they episode they, they number it by like the you know from the beginning yeah and not by like the season so it confuses me so i try to do math and fail but, but even like I don't know, because we still have. You, assuming it ends like the first of April, it's at least like two more episodes left. But that's, yeah. still, that's still like too long for this festival arc. <clears throat> so I wonder, yeah, this festival arc has been very long. I feel like like they could even just like whatever, whatever the first episode of the next arc. They could even had that as like the last episode. So just uh, real real quick, the yeah. school festival arc is. 15 chapters in the manga so yeah that's mm. pretty long isn't it no it's a weekly manga so it's pretty short but 15 chapters of that that's so what i mean that's 15 weeks three months but... that seems pretty long i was actually i was actually before gonna... a weekly manga i think that's pretty short i don't know man 15 chapters for a like school fest episodes. i think you fit that in like five episodes uh Damn, I mean, I don't know. what are we comparing this to? Yeah, like, I'm trying. Well, to... What's a good comparison to, for this like arc? I just, I, 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 just, I don't know. I guess we'd have to compare it to the the other main arcs, like say the Chisaki you arc. You want to do the test? The Chie Hisakai arc was like 42 chapters. So okay. Ooh. Okay. So compared to that, this is a lot shorter. Yeah, but still... but but it's going like almost the same length as. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. The last season, so I, that's why, like, yeah, it feels so stretched out. I was thinking they were gonna, like, they might just be stretching out more, just because it is kind of like coming down to the end of the season. I, so they might so, be just. Yeah, I think I wish they could have, like, just it, to not stretch it out. I wish they would have just done the first episode of the next arc, just to set everything up. Yeah, I mean, it's I, I'm it's it's or weird. you know they could do another recap. Oh yeah, it would be. Wait, I don't, why would they do it at this point? What the hell is there to recap? It's just a school festival. I'm just saying, like, like, like when the next season starts, do an- another recap at the beginning of that episode. Don't, please don't do that shit. I was okay with the recap for Hero Academia. They actually no, made like, it. like, don't recap at the end of the season. Oh, that's have another yeah, that'd be stupid. At the like Fate Grand Order? No, no, they just took a break. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. That's all, I think that's really all I had for the episode. It's, I feel yeah, like we yeah. we definitely made this uh kind of like you know stretched out just like the anime. Yep. We're just talking about nothing at this point. Yep. <laughs> but I'm good. Anybody else? Last thoughts? Uh no, that's pretty much all I had. All right. Make Next sure, week we'll make finish sure up the... to like, subscribe, and rate to Gentle Criminal on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Smash that like button. Yeah. Yeah. Link Pre- below. Link Press below. that notification bell. Uh, yeah, whatever Brian was doing, uh, do that. <laughs> sure, I, I, yeah, he's, he's I smashing that like button, all right? He's, yeah, dude. He's, mm. fucking, he's engaging in the community, getting like, getting noticed in a YouTube algorithm. Yeah, oh. there you go. I heard a click now. All right, there you go. the pounding was uh, something else. I thought, like you know, breaking it. Anyway, right, yeah. So that's it for here, Academia. Or I'm moving next to High Q to the top. Brian, since okay, so Brian is he's uh. He's catching up to where we are. To like slowly the, chugging yeah. along, dude. He has finished the first and second season, so oh, we can just get his brief thoughts before we move on. Do it. I think we, I think we got his like his thoughts on like the first season before, but uh, your thoughts on like the ending of the second season and do it. I was. Else. I'm so sad. I was. I watched like the end of the second season at work, dude. Because if I was at home, I would have screamed <laughs> so loud with these guys. I'd have been like, "Hell, fucking yeah, dude!" I hope like if, if if a show can ever get me goosebumps, dude. I know I'm feeling that, dude. dude this is the one. best I'm feeling. This is your show. Life. Yeah, this is the one. best feeling ever. I just know since you're like the hype, the hype man, that you would you would easily like this show because there's so many like hype moments where it just gets like intense. Hell um, yeah, dude! Especially oh, that, that 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 final point with Oikawa where he just like he first just like points to uh, where he points to his um. His ace and basically just like jumps like completely out of like the court and just basically mm-hmm. set it perfectly. 
I thought was awesome. And then, and then it's like everybody's base is, I don't know. Um, favorite characters so far? Uh, I know Hinata. Dude, I'm so terrible at names. I'm just trying to blow just through name the, the show. Just name like the, the player or the position. Uh, yeah, just Hinata, Nisho, Nishinoya, and Tanaka. I like those three because they're literally the hype gods. I, I fucking love it, dude. Hype <laughs> them up. Dude, I there's a... It, dude. There's a- Kageyama could go suck. <laughs> but, but dude, why? Kageyama gets so he's so good. But I don't care how good you are. If you ain't hyped, you ain't nothing. You, right? you know why, Brian? You don't play support. You don't know his struggles. Exactly. <laughs> I don't need to play support. I play a fucking role that's literally irrelevant. You guys are making this too personal. Hey, uh, dude, okay, never mind. I was gonna go off about I was gonna go off about Link, but we'll say it later. Okay. Oh, okay, I have to say this. It's gonna bother me. Dude, jungle is like the most important part right now. <laughs> Moving on. <clears throat> um, oh, no, boy. Dude, uh, no, but the thing is, all right, all right. Put it in like respect, of, like of an actual sports. Like, if you have no energy on a team, you it's so boring. You don't want to be there. You don't want to do anything. But when you got these guys that are are able to hype a whole team up off of there's just words and just. Emotion, dude. I'm with it. I'm. To- it's like, it's like fucking. What's his? I forgot his name. Man's from Hero Academy. What the fuck's Wait, his name? Which guy from Hero Academy? Lamillion, dude. All uh-huh. oh, right. If you got that kind of energy, dude, I will die with you, bro. <laughs> Did the link that I sent? That's the. That's basically the point we're talking about. Like at the. This is like the end of the second season. And it was. I uh, grant, grant. This awesome. scene was pretty dope. I can't dope. click on anything because it's gonna show up on OBS. Oh, fair. Okay, don't worry about also, it. Also, the Discord noise might have showed up on OBS. So have fun, it's run. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's fine. I'm just gonna let it go. They, they don't okay. understand. We're uh, talking about it. like I'll... legit. That go last ahead. point was like one of the most intense <laughs> last points of my entire life. And yeah, ever, dude. Like, like basically every time that you're just holding your breath. Actually, though. I was clenching my fist so hard. I had goosebumps <laughs> running from like my head to my toes. I was like, "This is a good feeling." I love okay. this show. So, did you think? Did you think uh, Krasno was gonna win it, or did or did you not know like what was gonna happen, or did you already kind of like figure uh, out? Like, I mean, like... considering that I knew there was a third season, I kind of mm-hmm. figured that you know a small part of me was like, "Yeah, they're probably gonna win this." Yeah. But there's also that doubt. Is like, all right, so it, it can go two ways since I like legit don't look at any sort of spoilers at all right either they lose and then they go on to the next year and reset do all that shit over or they win and go to the finals i mean that's yeah. every sports movie and tv show so no no to be fair if you're watching the first season the first season they actually lost no i mean, yeah. I mean yeah. like, that, the, was, that was actually a really big plus for me well the possibility of losing yeah. like it's like when you watch any because sports shows do that too where like where they they lose the first time just to bait you, or even that, even movies sometimes they just lose at the end still. So it's not... David, why was it a, why was it a plus for you? Or no. sorry, no, not David, Brian, Brian, my bad. Because it actually showed like it showed the team losing. Because yeah. granted, I don't watch a lot of like sports movies or shows in general. Yeah. Uh-huh. But when you show a team losing, and yeah. their reaction, their their comeback, and like the emotion from them losing. Mm-hmm. For me, like the first season is like an actual real emotion that most people get. Like, if they really want to win right. something, they end up losing it. That's like the most fucking ball punching, em- like, <laughs> it's so bad, dude. Like, you yeah. just because there, there's certain points, it's like, hey, I, I could have done this better, get this point, or just defend it better. Like, you go through all these emotions, and then the food would made it even better for me. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When they were all like basically eating, and it was like actually like setting in and hitting them. Yeah. No, I'd yeah. I'd be crying if I ate food that good too. <laughs> but it, David, with this though, like they they lost, but it wasn't even like uh like it, it wasn't the finals. I think it was like even semifinals. So it was just like it was like one of those matches that you that you think like they could actually like win it since it wasn't like the finals or anything like that. But no, they no they they ended up uh, losing in the first uh, season. There was a pop- popularity contest. I think it was in Japan. It was a popularity contest, and Hinata got number one. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's my he's one of my he's a good character too. But he's, there's there's the better ones. Two was hell the, yeah, dude. dude he's number, the fucking underdog. You don't understand. <laughs> it was like number number one Hinata. Number two, I think, was the other guy. Kage, Kageyama. Yeah. The, oh, the guy oh, with oh, black okay. hair. Suck it, what suck it, bro. And I think suck it, the third was like <laughs> the third place was like um like 
he had like how far would his hair look like it was like he was like the shorter guy Did too have... like Mishinoya. 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 Yeah, hell he yeah number three yeah He's badass. Two for three, baby. So I, don't, I don't know like how many people did the poll or where it was. Dude, but I love Nishinoya. Nishinoya is like my favorite. That was just character. like one popularity poll. It might have been like from the manga magazine or whatever, but I just, okay. just popular. It awesome. overrules all, David. It's fine. Yeah. Possibly. But I just know that Hinata was number one. So Yeah, it's fine. Hinata's awesome. Hinata's probably like my third or fourth favorite. Like I like my for me, like my favorite is Nishinoya. I love I love, I love Ka- uh, Kagayama. Tanaka kun is really or Tanaka is really awesome. And also, um, they're, uh, they're, they're captain. I keep forgetting his name. Daichi? Daichi, yeah. But then, uh, but Hinata's would be in my number four. Mm. What? I, oh. Dude, but they're all really close, okay? <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, but right, right. Ooh, they're, they're, all, they're all, oh, man. Really, really oh, close. Sorry, it's red. They're all really Ooh. close, and it's really hard to, like, split them up. But I, I like, at, at first, like, loved Tanaka and Nishinoya. They were, like, they were both just hilarious. Um, and, um. And then, but then Kageyama, I just felt for him as a support main. And then, um, yeah, but, but no, but Hinata's awesome too. Uh, Fourth I, though, bro. God, okay, well, okay well, P, well, Brian, when you catch up to us, like we'll explain like why. No, um, no, no, you don't understand. Listen, it's more impressive. Okay, let's just put it in terms of basketball, right? Yeah, yeah. It's more impressive if a like a five foot five dude dunks than it is if you're like six foot five and dunking. It's way more like the energy is just amazing. If dude, yeah. I'd lose my mind if a person was five five and dunked on my face, dude. <laughs> you just walk off the court. Yeah, and that's Inada. He's legit one of the shortest people, and he's over here, fucking the Iron Tower, bro. This man, this <laughs> I, I, I'm done, dude. The the Russian, the, the white hair Russian dude, the Iron Wall. Yeah, from uh, that uh, that Tech. Tech. Yeah. Okay. Let's go, let's go, Tatikov. <laughs> I fucking hate that shit. Uh, but uh, anything else, Brian? Uh, oh, your thoughts on the like early third season, and then we can move on to the yeah, like, move on and we'll let you. The first yeah. episode. This man, I okay. swear to God, that kid's on steroids. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> the fucking captain is legitimately on steroids. There's yeah. no way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for me, of like the of the three seasons, I, I definitely thought the second season was the best. Yep. Uh, I, I thought like Oikawa, like I thought Oikawa was way way more of a dangerous player than uh, you know, like this the, the, this guy from the third season. But you but you know just let us know. But what was your thoughts on like one of my favorite scenes? I think it happens in the first episode is when uh, basically when Kageyama and like Hinata kind of like demonstrate their abilities. Do it. That show was dope. They're like okay. <laughs> they're, they're like they just walk. <laughs> fuck it. Do it. This is why I love these characters so much, man. Okay, Tanaka yeah. is like, hey, do that one thing. Yeah. And then they're like, I bet fucking the center their dominance on the court. Everybody was shook. I was like, hell <laughs> yeah. You better watch out for this case. You know, uh, like, spike on your face, dude. Yeah, cool. If you don't remember it, it's so basically bad. when uh they kind of like set it up where he they're uh, Tanaka, he's basically you know, like you know, telling Kage- Kageyama and Hinata is like, hey, you know, do your thing. And when Kageyama basically sets up the ball and Hinata like just straight up just dunks uh spikes the ball straight down. Yep. And it just looks so epic. Okay. I just wanted to that, that, that was like one of my favorite Hinata moments. Mm. It, it just looked so awesome. Even though it wasn't even like an actual point, it basically just like, it got like how Brian said, like the whole other team just like shook up and like, wait, what the fuck just happened? No, because the other guy <laughs> showed like an exhibition of what he can do as well. So, you know, you got to respond to that, right? You, right. You know? It's like it's like a dick measuring contest. Really. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like definitely the third, like third season with animation, like it's definitely it's, it's top notch. Yeah, it's There's definitely a lot of high moments, and then you definitely know like it's it's like a it's a major ass like a major thing when they the entire season is the match. Right. Although I do gotta say, I think I like the second season the most just because uh, due to what happened in the first season, the whole right. story wraps up in a way that makes yeah. him totally redeem himself. Yeah. And well, you I- yeah you also know you you get to know more about Oikawa than you do like the the, the dude on steroids. I forgot the guy's name. Um, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, you get to know him more, and I just think like Oikawa is just so much of a like so much more of a better player. Like Oikawa is like he makes his team just epic, and right. so that guy basically is just power. So. Mm-hmm. But but yeah, Brian, you'll you'll know, and then you'll have to give us like an update because I actually want to I want to get to know your thoughts. Okay. But so far, two thumbs, right? Dude, you got three thumbs, man. The third okay. thumb comes from below. Yes, I got you. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> got it. <laughs> Intriguing. Well, intriguing. All right, y'all continue with the next episode. Goodbye. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say I'll let you know when we're done. Um. Okay. Uh. Cool. 
thoughts on let's see the the current uh, episode oh well this episode was kind of just uh like a wrap up of their winter vacation because it's the new year and then yeah. uh after that they just uh, go on to the spring tournament or otherwise known as the national tournament mm. and that that was basically the whole episode right um the episode started out with daichi kind of like having this nightmare where he thought that he was the only one on the volleyball team and it was all made up in his head. <laughs> it was just the basketball team. Yeah, so it was just a basketball team. So this, already, like, this dude's already freaking out. And then yeah. he goes to the shrine with the others. And, uh, you know, what? I just got to say it. Like, this episode just highlights that that manager. I think her name was uh, Kyoko-san. I forgot her name, yeah. Yeah, like, she just she's just so adorable, dude. Fucking love that girl. Um I actually don't remember her. The only mo- the only moment I remember is Nishinoya's moment. That that was hilarious. I was dying. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I was laughing out loud. It was hilarious. I immediately thought of I immediately thought of Subaru. Uh-huh. Uh Oh no, it's not sorry, not Subaru. Uh, Kazuma from uh, Konosuba. Oh, okay, got it. Yep, but sorry, uh, go ahead. But I mean, but yeah, that was that was pretty much it. Uh, there wasn't really anything too exciting going on. But okay. I want to say with the way that they set it up, uh, they just finished the entrance ceremony to the tournament. So yeah. Uh, they should be starting up their next match soon. And mm-hmm. with only like what two or three days or two or three episodes left. Um I'll, they'll probably do one match. They'll probably win the match and then they'll end it there, yeah. They'll end it there with the bracket of the next yep. uh part of the tournament. So, like basically I, I can see like you know, like their their match finishing up and then just then showing up the the rest of the bracket, just like how other teams uh finished up like where mm-hmm. they are. Yeah. I'm interested yeah. just to see like how the bracket like sets. I wanna see if they basically just get like a if they just get like a like a just a hard match the first like a uh, you know like in the first round, mm-hmm. or if it's gonna just I, I just kind of want to see how because you know like not all these like, um uh uh, uh Krasno is not gonna be able to play every single one of these teams like the ones that we've got to know like it's definitely right. going to be split up I would hope so because if it's basically just like uh Krasno just knocking out like all these teams I'm thinking like that's there's no way in hell because there's so many teams that there's that, that it can't happen like that. Yeah, I want to say they're going to play against two or three of the teams that they've already played against or that they know. Oh, and then yeah. I want to I want to say that the 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 team that they'll meet if they do make it to the finals, um, right? I'm assuming they're going to play against that one Echo. team that's in all yellow. No, no, yeah. the team that's all in yellow that Kakiyama met at uh, the youth camp. That really? uh, you don't think it's going to be Nekoma, dude? Nekoma is no. like definitely getting set up as like their rivals. No, because they set up the Libero guy and then that uh, the guy with that face mask. He was also their ace. Like, oh yeah, they're they're setting him up to be this like crazy guy, top spiker of the, the finals. Though you think so? I think he'll make it. I think it'll be him. Hmm. Either that, or they meet the other like short guy that kind of look looked like an owl when yeah. Kage was at camp. I mean, I haven't seen. I, yeah, yeah, I haven't seen him yet, but maybe he'll he'll make a show here. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, I didn't even think about that. Um, yeah, I know for like uh, like my whole thoughts. Like when I first when I first was watching the episode, and they had like the whole you know Daichi was like waking up and stuff. I was like, oh god, this mm-hmm. is gonna be a filler. Up. This is going to be a filler <laughs> episode. But then it was only halfway through, and then uh, I don't really like. I, I kind of remember like you know stuff with I th- was it her name like Kyoko, uh, well, the brunette, girl? yeah, Kyoko, uh, yeah, or like the the black hair, uh, well, yeah, yeah, Kyoko son, yeah, cool yeah. light died again. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Okay, no worries. You'll just be yeah. in the dark, and I'll be in the I'll be in the light. Um, okay. But uh, no, but then, uh, but my favorite, like my favorite moment in the episode, I, where I was just laughing out loud, was when uh, Nishinoya gets pushed, and then he just sees like basically like the girl, like basically like the girl in front of him with like you know like the breast that basically is like oh he's like oh my god is this like the perv gods? Is this is like I can't do anything. Thank you gods. And he's just like falling in, but then she just but then uh, he gets but then he gets you know, caught in midair by her because she's like she's, six fucking feet tall. Yeah, right? And she's like, <laughs> it's like are you all right, dude? And then fucking dude. That's like what reused childhood friend, right? So yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah Tanaka's reaction when he's like, "Oh, I was like, oh, yeah. hey, it's been yeah, four you're, you're so you know. damn mature now." <laughs> you know, all of a sudden it's like, "Hey, yeah, he just realized that that she's he's a that, that she's a girl." And then, yeah. uh, then, <laughs> then, um, I just forgot. Uh, then Daichi's just like, "That's pretty fucked up." <laughs> mm-hmm. dude, <laughs> like, but he, that, you know, he's about to get some. Like, dude, that whole scene was just I don't know. That whole scene was just hilarious. Like this was this was by far my favorite episode of this season. And there's actually that like, one moment. Dude, that moment and also there was flashes. <laughs> there was like flashes of like, the old animation where uh where me and Taylor were like, oh shit, like this like didn't that look like the old animation? But mm-hmm. then it, it was just a few it was just a few shots, and then there was some terrible animations. And you can if you want to see just how bad the animation is, you can check out my anime list profile picture. I oh, picked God. it as my main profile pic. 
Uh, but yeah, no, I, I did. Um, but yeah, like in all honesty, I thought that this whole episode was going to be like their their clips of like the most famous moments because I liked how for Nishioya, uh, they only really showcased them in the episode and they showed the oh, part right. where in, yeah. s- in season three. Okay, Brian's not listening. Okay, mm-hmm. in season three where um that one guy uh he he spiked and Nishinoi picked it up yep. and then he sent it right back to him and he spiked it again and this guy did a full 180 and like returned uh the spike yeah. and that was probably like the most amazing part of that season i think and yeah, i'm kind of so glad that to pick that the, yeah there was a lot but season three like that like, episode was pretty badass yeah when like Nishinoya first says like he's like, he basically he misses the first one he's like just give me three shots mm-hmm. and then basically just drills like the he, he ends up just drills the block like mm-hmm. right after that, he's like, "Damn, he's like, he, he's got him dialed in." Yeah, like that whole like that epic moment. There's a bunch of character epic moments, but um, I mean, yeah, I completely forgot about that like hype up video. Yeah, they really didn't show much of uh, certain characters, but you just you just I would just assume like they they'll probably just do like flashes of. Well, I think that was the previous though. Like they they didn't really show any of the new things that they they learned from training camp. I don't think. Mm-hmm. I would I assume that they're that we're gonna see those you know throughout this the tournament. I would guess. <clears throat> but I'm really hoping though, like with just like the flashes and blinks of just like the like, where it looked like the animation quality uh, jumped up, kind of like to where it was in the, the third season, mm-hmm. third or even maybe in second season. Um, I was thinking, oh damn, maybe, maybe. But then there, then all of a sudden, it would just drop quality. But it, which was fine. This is basically the episode to set up the tournament, so that's fine. Like if you have to save your budget, go for it. You know, just like make those, just make those moments epic. Don't, don't, don't screw this up, please. Yeah. Because like that, like the 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 clip that I that I that I link with, uh, you know, Oikawa with it, like that that epic like final point was just it, it's so good. Even the epic point, like in the third season, like that that was probably my favorite because it just like just like it wasn't like the actual point, but it was just like just like kind of like the 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 symbolism of just like what uh, the dude on steroids was mm-hmm. like I, this like, and how they animated it just looked it just looked so epic. It was so good. <laughs> so I'm really hoping they can match that. If not, then I'm really hoping like like this first season, like uh people people say people like realize like wow this animation is pretty terrible compared to the next seasons. And then like hopefully like because they have that break, and I'm kind of hoping in a, in a way that they're able to like hype you know hype up or maybe save up and make it you know for like the second half of the season for mm-hmm. I think summer. Yeah. Um, I'm 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 hoping so. I I mean I don't know, but God I hope so. I mean, I, I I think they only did it once, but they did try to do uh, a new type of uh, animation where someone was kind of like powering up. I believe it was Hinata when he was at um, either he was at yeah, I know what you mean. Yep. And then there was like this orange aura that was like popping up around him when he was in a ready stance to receive. Yeah. So I I get the feeling that they're they're going to try something new to kind of like heighten the moments yeah. uh, during matches. Um. And like, like I said, it's, it's it's only the first half, so maybe yeah. they're saving all their resources for the next, yep. uh, next 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 season or whatever. Yep. Um, but See, nor- normally, I love I love those moments because I, I mean I just love Aura and like the hype up that where it actually just shows you you know how how badass you are. Mm-hmm. But I actually thought like the scenes beforehand where it just shows like kind of like steam, like sh- mm-hmm. you know just kind of steam going up. I thought it looked so much cooler in this in like in this whole like scenario than actually kind of like that. Kind of like aura power up thing where it just doesn't really fit with volleyball. Well, I, I definitely thought because like, I know like especially I go kind of like towards like the third season with I know like there's a few shots that they showed of Daichi, right? When, like it, basically he was just like, you know kind of like sweating, but like the steam aura was coming off of him. Yeah, I thought it looks so much cooler than like the like the than the the aura you're talking about with Hinata. No, I mean I I do agree with that, um, but again that's I they've used it before. So I think they want to try for something different to try to hype people up. Because if yeah. you constantly do the same thing over and over and over again, it's it's not going to be as effective. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. So I, I do appreciate the fact that they're trying to do something new. Yeah. And then um, how oh sorry, go ahead. No, and then uh like you said, the whole like realistic aspect of it, I do like that a lot better. And then yeah. I, it looked cool too. It looked really yeah, no, cool. It looks super cool. And then it also the facial expressions that they would have as oh, well. Like, intense. You know, yeah. after, like those super yep. intense. So yep. I'm hoping that they bring it back up to that level that they had before. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping like also uh, the you know uh, fans and viewers that are watching like, they actually like because they flash back to the uh, the third season where with that animation that same mm-hmm. animation so it actually shows like it shows just how different the animation is from now yeah uh, even though it is like I know we've mentioned in the stream before like it is the same animation studio but a different mm-hmm. team working on it so right. it's not the same people it's a different style um it, it's it's 
I don't know. I, I hope that something happens where they 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 go back to that 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 that, that quality. The only thing I can think of is um, I'm assuming you guys have never watched like the latest Pokemon series, right? Where God, it went no. from like, oh, right, so God, like so, so. but but right, right. But what I'm yeah, bringing it to is like uh, the current season is like Pokemon Sun and Moon, where Ash went to Lola. Like they completely changed the art style. I made them like super kiddish and whatnot. It wasn't really like refined compared to like Pokemon X and Y, which is the season before. It looks so bad. It looks so much better X Y. Yeah, so I I hope that they bring it back to that level where they go back to their roots and just go with that art style because yeah. I feel like this one is like I'm not really feeling it, but it's not a complete turn off to me. But yeah. it, it is bothersome. Maybe I can try to do some. Uh... I can try to do some research just to see if that that's if that same team is still there. Or maybe they moved on to something else, or because it was like what three years ago since yeah, the previous was, season. So it's, it's been a long ago. time. But. Yeah. So I mean, we'll I'm just I'm just glad it's back. So I'm not going to complain too much. But yep. um, yeah, if they can bump that up. This this would be perfect. Yeah. Like I mean, I'm still hyped for the story. I'm still hyped for this. You know, for the rest of the season and whatever, mm-hmm. like the matches and ha- and everything. But it's just like <sighs> the animation is still just kind of a kind of a worry. But yeah. But so who do you think the uh, who do thinks gonna be the first match for Karasuno? Fuck, dude, I'm, uh, it's uh, so it's either gonna be like a surprise first round where they're gonna be like, oh shit, uh-huh. <laughs> or it's gonna be like a no name team where what that usually happens in first rounds. So could, mm-hmm. I think it's either gonna be like a no name team that we really don't know that has maybe one good guy, like mm-hmm. or one good player on the team, and that's about it, or it's gonna be like. It's gonna be like one of the teams they've already played before, and it's gonna be like right. that oh shit moment, like where it's like we gotta get you know serious now. Your thoughts? I, I think it's gonna be the that Neckle school. First round? You think <laughs> so? Round. I think that's gonna oh be the first round. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see. I, I legitimately think with Neckle, I think they won't meet them until semifinals or the finals because they're right. definitely setting them up to be like their rival. Right, no, no, most definitely. But again, yeah. this is getting close towards the end of this season, and what yeah. better way to end it than with like with that an epic fucking match? Okay, the first yeah. match, right? Yeah. So I mean, that's that's what like I think that would be the most intense matchup. But I mean, I, I guess we'll see. It would, but I, I would I would hope not because I actually <laughs> love I love the Nekoma like the, their yeah. team. So yeah, no, I, I, I like them too. Yeah, I already know. Like just during the match, just like I'm gonna be just like, sitting there stone face and just like tears would just slowly run down my face as I drink as I drink my. My sad beer <laughs> and just prep. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, that's all I have for this. Yeah, yeah, I think we we will be for high I I believe it. so. After what thirty? Yeah, we're good. It deserved it. Okay. Oh yeah, it was good. Yeah, definitely all had right. to catch up uh, with Brian. Wanted to know his thoughts. It was good. All right, so that's gonna be it for high to the top. Uh, we're moving next to Fate Grind Order. Yes. Um, so, go ahead, Brian. Or, go ahead, David. I talked forever. Okay. Um... Hikari are! <laughs> yes, Brian. <laughs> yes. So, uh, I mean, so this is basically like, yeah, the last three episodes of Fake Grand Order. So things are already getting pretty epic. I'm trying because I watched the episode, I think, Sunday, but like, so I'm trying to just piece together everything that happened. But a lot happened. Yeah. Um, so I just want to mention um, real quick that, like, like when um when Gorgon showed up, like it took me a while to realize. Wait, no, that's Anna because they're of course they're the same person. That's you forgot, man. Well, because like when when they had that first reveal of like Gorgon and Anna, it's like I don't know. I just I forgot that in Fate, like you can exist at the same time as like as like your future self. I don't know, like the whole confusing thing. So, some fan you are, dude. But this but the Fate story is so easy. <laughs> I know, right? Reddit, Reddit fuck telling you. me it's Reddit keeps telling me it's easy, but. <laughs> Because um, because episode before that, because be- before the break, yeah, they had Gorgon show up. It's like, oh, okay, it's you know the 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 Gorgon that they fought, and then then this episode, it's like what halfway towards, like when yeah. when um when when Fujimaru like he was saying, like no, I don't want to leave her behind. I'm like, why do you care about her so much? And then it was like it hit me like, <laughs> oh wait, yeah, that's that's yeah. Anna. I so before they yeah. reveal that, so that part took me a while so yeah with with a character that big you can't just go and just grab her like what? She, she's basically gonna be there okay. you're not gonna get her back they explain why she showed up all of a sudden like where'd she, where'd she come from is it because like is it because like the summoning power of tiamat like cause it or well i just assume she never died okay uh, that's okay. basically what i just assumed do you know what, uh, what happened with merlin then how how'd he show up because i thought he died because there's so much energy pouring out of tiamat uh, wait well, unless it's because they're in the underworld now but 
the, the thing that I got from uh, Merlin is that he basically he was always alive, but he summoned he was able to summon during a time like he didn't exist. So that in a, in a sense, according to fate fate philosophy, he was able to then uh, you know, like uh, summon himself or, or he was able to be summoned. But I think though it basically sounds like because it sounds like Merlin almost like sent himself back to that time or, or back to that. T- I think so. So I think that's actually Merlin. I don't think it's like his actual like you know, you know previous summon or anything like oh, that. So I think you're it's saying exactly before. Him. So before it was I think like, I don't know though. It was like the the servant spirit that was summoned. Yes. And now yeah, it was, this. Yeah. Now this is the actual real Merlin. That's yep. okay. Yeah, because I think that with the philosophy before that, I thought like, oh damn, that's pretty badass. Was with Merlin, the whole thing of it is just like, because they're like, oh, like when did you die? He's like, I never died. He's like, I, I basically just like he was summoned from a time that you know, before he existed. I think that's that's well, no, basically he, he how summoned, they got it he, too. This age that they're in is before he existed. So right, 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 right. Yeah, just like the other servants. So, oh, yep. So I think but, that's what. The, yeah, that was a really badass moment too. But like, like when. But, like when they but they like he they said like he he went away the first time it's because like team uh, um like overpowered his something about him so he couldn't control anymore that's why he had to go away right I don't know. yeah well i thought it was because i thought it was like his powers or whatever his like whatever was left over like he just like exhausted himself i, th- I that's what i thought i don't know though something like that. I, don't I would know. really like, have to like look more into it i'm so confused yeah, I, I, but I did actually. Know. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I don't know. Like when it, when it first happened, like I had no idea what was going on. Like with the flowers, like, I was thinking like, who could this be? You know, like it could. I don't know. I was thinking like, is this Gilgamesh somehow, or did he come down oh. here? <laughs> that was very yeah. sad too. Like th- like I hope Gilgamesh finds a way to get down to the underworld, because he only had okay. He he was badass this episode, but that's the only thing he's done against Tiamat so far. It was yeah. basically like like the whole like it was like the the cannons and then him. I mean, taking the sniper shot too, and then also using his, I guess, I don't know what you call that, his noble phantasm, because it, just, it looked like a normal attack. It was, basically, right. it was basically more like Kingu, really, using his chains of heaven that did more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kingu, Kingu came in and just, like, did, like, uh, his, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, chains thing. We got to see his noble phantasm, and I believe that was it. I think I think he's I, dead, even though we didn't see him die. I still forget, Everything like, it, why he's still alive, because, like, something like... Um. Well, well because uh, he got saved. He, like I thought, I thought he like, was the critical ignition before he got saved. Being yeah, but uh, but then um, but then Gilgamesh healed him with uh, his his fake uh, Holy Grail. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. He says something like he. I guess he remembers. He has the memories because he's in the body somehow. Because yes, he basically like still that. remembers it, but he, it's not like him in a sense. But he still remembers Gilgamesh as like a friend so and uh, all that stuff that they've mentioned like here and there. Oh, and then um. um I was gonna mention to the just when they when they she transform when Tiamat transform in the dragon form, I was like, man, this is such a JRPG slash mobile game thing. It's like phase two of the boss, like like when they thought that, that <laughs> it was actually gonna be over, and then it transforms. Like, man, this is the mobile game coming in right here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't also... actually, I actually, I don't dislike that. I actually really like having multiple phases in boss fights, but it's just that part is just like just just it's just a reminder. Yeah, this is a mobile game. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, also then we found out that there's uh, you know besides like there's like very little people still left. Like I mean, of the people that are still alive that we know, is uh, um, is uh, the girl with the bow and then her counterpart that's in the underworld. I forgot. I completely forgot both of the names. All Ishtar of a sudden. and yeah, Ishtar and then um, um Irish that... kill something. Yeah, Irish kill or yeah, something yeah. like yeah, something like that. And then Gilgamesh, which is up above, and then no way, Mash. He better, not, he better not die. There's no way he's gonna die. Right, and then, yeah, then there's Mash, and then there's also Merlin now. But then they also uh, showed up that other uh, yeah. that other servant that I actually had to look up because I had no clue about Hassan, anything Hassan about him. Al something. Yeah, basically he, yeah, he's he's supposed to be what's considered like one of the grand grand summons or something like yeah, that. Oh yeah, the grand class. So yeah, grand class. Yeah, fate grand order. So now they finally have. Well, this is a seventh singularity, so this is the first time I've heard of a grand like Me class too. servant. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I basically found it's 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 a it's a summon. It's a servant that's actually summoned by like another. Basically, it's like another party, which made it like where, where I looked up, where it, it makes it sound like it's it's the party that basically prevents the end of the world. So it actually makes it sound like it was like a. I don't know what the, what's the name of that party. I, w- I want to say like oh no, or God, but then I don't know what to actually like call that party. But it's basically like another. It's it's like the other party that basically like you know like, the, like I said like prevents. Uh, the extinction of humanity 
and then they have like their own servant or summon. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice information, Stren. That's nice to know. I'm so glad they explained that in the show. Yeah, I know. So I had to look ex- it up. <laughs> I'm so glad they explained it in the seventh singularity. Yeah. So like, yeah. anime only watchers can know yeah, all this I'm, information so that people I'm on Reddit so, are totally, so justi- glad <laughs> feel totally justified in giving us anime watchers only shit because we don't know yeah. what grand class servants are. Yeah, I'm so glad they animated the previous six singularities. Yeah, like, so um, we saw explained that. it during that time. <laughs> yeah, this damn mobile game that made billions of dollars. To win all the- yeah, whatever. But no, um, I, yeah, so, so yeah, I had to look look up. I had to do some. I had to do some uh, research because I I had no clue. So um, okay, if their purpose is to prevent end of humanity, like what's the point then of like of of like you know the Cal Calder I forgot the name of the organization Calderia or whatever, like. What's I the point no of them like say, going doing all this if they just can just summon a servant that's supposed to prevent the destruction of humanity? Well, I have a feeling that it prevents it, but I mean, I, I don't think it's I guess like a guarantee. Like certain conditions you need to meet yeah. to summon it. Yeah, so I mean, I would assume like it's like it's not like a like a like a guarantee that it's not going to be able to prevent humanity, but it helps, I guess. Or maybe um, I, I I don't really know. I hopefully they they explain it next more in next episode, or I can do. A little bit more research and then um, talk about it next episode. Spoilers. <laughs> Whichever, whatever you want to, say, whatever you want to call it. But um, I don't really care. So I won't. But they see, they look so surprised, like when um the doctor too, Doctor Romani, he was he had to explain like the grand class server. I wonder if this is the first time they actually summoned it, either in in the mobile game or I don't know. It was, yeah, yeah. So I wonder if this is the first time a grand class server has been summoned. So I, I, yeah, I'm really hoping they explain it because uh, I mean I can always like look up stuff, but then I don't know how okay. much I'm gonna actually um, spoil for myself. Is he is he the solo man that we saw earlier in the season? That yeah Mark- yeah okay. from the underworld yeah from before yeah th- he's been there the whole time. I, I thought solo man because solo man is like he's like he's a biblical. I he's like I think he's from like the Hebrew the Hebrew myth mythology. This guy yeah Hassan. So, so, no, Hassan? So, well solo man solo man is like, oh. like I'm pretty sure it's like a Hebrew. Myth, like part of the, well, not mythology because I think it's it, pronounced Solomon. Solomon, well, Solomon, whatever. Like, I shouldn't say mythology because, like, I don't want because, like, it's in like whatever the the Jewish holy book is. I don't know what it's called, but like, yeah, there, there's it, a lot. <laughs> it's he's in there, but like, but then they reveal his name is Hassan, which sounds like a Persian, either a Persian name or like one of the, like you know the older names. Before, yeah. maybe before like you know before like judaism and like the other mono mono right. realistic like religions so I, it's just it's just you know this show it's, it's all about like people not having like people like like not revealing their true names or whatever like so he was introduced well, as solomon and then like he gets revealed as a grand class servant as like hassan so what I think this is before this isn't like the holy grail war holy grail war so there's really no like benefit to like hiding their names um, because I, I I think they only really did that during like the the holy holy grail wars, but then well, I think no, it's like hide, most these people. Like... Hide, no, I'm talking about like just even their identities, because like because how oh right like Gorgon, she, she said it was Gorgon, even though she was Medusa, or no no she called herself Tiamat. Yeah, she called her Tiamat, even, she was, even though she was, she was Medusa. Gorgon. She was Medusa slash Gorgon, and then mm-hmm. like Kingu, like you know, or he was in, he was like uh. In Kido, in you know, his what, name is Kingu and stuff. Like, but wait, but was she Medusa though, or was she just like? Because uh, I don't know if she was like actually herself Medusa, or she was just like in the Gorgon clan. Isn't Gorgon just like the name of the race of the Snake People? Yeah, that's why. That's why when uh, um, I, I'm pretty sure it's Medusa. Though. Name. I'm pretty sure it is Medusa. Hmm. It's okay. like, I don't know because I know they already have a because they already have a Medusa in in the 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 you know, like the Fate Grand War. Yeah. Or sorry, the, the yeah, but, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's still they, Medusa. Like okay, yeah, because they whenever, have used characters whenever, again. Whenever before, Fate but... like shows Medusa, it's always with like the, the you know the, the pinkish purplish hair. Yeah, and then like, so, the the like the light pink or blank light yeah, purple so the light eyes. pinkish hair and like yeah, yeah. and yeah, chains. it basically symbolizes her. Yeah, and like the chains. So yeah, but I, I'm I, I'm not gonna spoil anything. I don't really want to spoil anything more about the uh, the 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 was it the grand. The grand summon just because like because we they haven't really said much more because it was like it was the end of the episode yeah. so i, I mean even we'll, if you say it, more about it even if yeah. you say it, i probably won't understand that's how the show is yeah, i mean i could talk about it and, and i wouldn't even understand it so yeah. 
So, uh, so I'll just I'll just wait till the next episode because I'm I'm sure they're definitely gonna go like more in depth about him. Um, so I, I think it was just more kind of like the shock value, where even though I didn't really get the shock value, yeah. <laughs> I had to look it up online. Um, but I mean, besides that, yeah, the whole episode was just like just it just keeps hearing how like how powerful Tiamat is that like they're throwing everything at her and like they they finally they even like was able to hold her off to put her underground and she still like was like her corruption was still like overflowing even in the underworld. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, she changed to like what do they call her the now? Dragon she... form. Yeah, or was it dragon form or some sort of? I think it was. I thought it was like some beast form. I think they call call it a dragon. Well, translation says a dragon form. I didn't hear they said like view something. Okay. Like yeah, I thought they said something like she became some sort of like beast where she was an actual yeah. god or well, something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. About, like, <clears throat> I don't know like the the you know the Mesopotamian the mythology from Gilgamesh, but yeah, it, you know in in Japan, like they always use, but they always put like dragons is like above like demons and angels. like they have like demons and angels on one level but then they always put dragons above them for some reason like dragons are like always at like the top tier dragons are the shit <laughs> i mean they are but like but like i think, <clears throat> I, think it's, I think it's japanese i think even chinese too is like the like, dragons are always at the top tier like class just below the gods no so no that's fine but uh, other than that i got i mean i really don't oh, have too they also much mentioned more. they also mentioned too how um but yeah the fujimaro he was he yeah um, he, he was like like losing his mana fast because he used all of three of his command spells. So I guess yeah. that's I think, consistent with what I remembered. Yeah, because I think it's like more like when you use the, the command, like if you use all three command spells, I think it's just assumed like you're going to be returning to your time and then whatever mm. they do or however he gets them back. I don't know, but d- this chick is just way too strong. Like my god, like she yeah. she basically like there's like multiple goddesses that have used their uh their um. Why am I blanking on their their ultimate move? Uh, um, noble phantasm. Yeah, the noble phantasm, and then yeah. like this thing. Well, well, I don't. I don't want to say she hasn't gotten phased by it because she's definitely gotten hit by it. They keep they keep saying how Tiamat's like you know and like in you know the Mesopotamia mythology where Gilgamesh is from or the Babylonian. Yeah. I guess I should say Babylonian. Well, Babylon's the city. So Mesopotamia. Like they keep saying how she's like the I think the goddess of Earth or the goddess of creation, like the mother Earth and the you know, oh, yeah. goddess of yeah, creation. creation yeah. So she's like. The ultimate god, basically like the Zeus, yeah, of like that, of that culture. So right, yeah. And which is funny because I see like Tiamat and like in like Final Fantasy and like other JRPGs, she's not really yeah, strong. Cool. She's just yeah. like she's just like a regular boss or some. I don't know. If there's a Tiamat summon. I haven't, I don't remember. I can't remember. No those. idea. I don't remember. Um, it's good. She was a boss in Final Fantasy Nine. I don't remember any other. But like, yeah, I never. See, like Tiamat being like this strong ever. It's the magic of fate. They do what they want. Well, I mean, like, I'm sorry, I'm more familiar with, with Mesopotamia mythology now, even though, like, I'm pretty sure they exaggerate a lot, but, like, just yeah. just knowing, like, Gilgamesh and his and his friend in Kidu, like, yep. that part, and also, and then, um, like, Ishtar and, um, Ish- Ishrigil, or, and, um, and also, Ish- yeah. well, and, um, and just Tiamat and stuff, like, Pretty, yeah. it's, it's pretty fun knowing that now. But so I'm more excited for Camelot when you get to know more about like Arthur. Yeah, even though, we go even backwards. I guess, I guess like there's so much about like Arthur already. That's fine. That, I'm like, okay with it. I mean, like, like even even in anime, there's so much like there's so much references to Arthur and like and and like Avalon, right? And, and like Excalibur and stuff. Whereas yeah. like, it was, like you don't really get to see much of like about Gilgamesh really and. Babylon, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's been really badass seeing Gil- Gilgamesh as an actual good character. That's I really, really hope cool. he like he just shows up last minute. I, I, it, it might be like BS, but I really hope he does. I want to see him like fight more. For some reason, I feel like it's just like I think that part is done. I know I, that's that's why I, I feel I too. I want him so bad to use his like his what was it the whatever his noble phantasms of the swords. I forgot about that. Is it called, like, called. The, like the, the gardens of Babylon or something? That red, that red spear-looking thing. But just when he summons everything, like I forgot what that's called. I don't know. I just remember him like him like uh with that like that red-looking aeon aeon thing or whatever it was called, where it just like looked like it just annihilates everything. Yeah. Uh, there was, but I don't know. With like two episodes left, I would assume both these episodes is just gonna be. It's got. I mean, yeah, this, this is the anime. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm. That's what my guess would be. I'm also interested to see what the new grand, the grand servant, is going to do. I think he's going to be really cool. 
he sounds like like or like that you know like the oh voice yeah actor. i guess he's, if you're gonna have the grand business. servant i guess if i have the grand servant there's not really any point for gilgamesh to show up because you can't expect gilgamesh to be stronger than a grand servant yeah grand servants i assume is gonna be a beast <laughs> that's my and, guess oh yeah and, and mash is like shield got beat up so i guess i can't expect her to use more of her noble phantasm wasn't she wasn't last episode though they were like they were prepping for her noble phantasm, then that just—I mean, I guess it just never happened. Barely. I—I I guess she used it somewhat, but like it just wasn't as effective. Like she's so weak in this, in this singularity. Like, yep. every, everyone, she can't do anything, man. She's yep, she's everyone. there. She just, she's just there, and then everybody else but, that but you know you meet throughout seven, the time are stronger. This is the seventh singularity, man. How? Why are you so weak? Where's all your no, XP? She, she was a shield, man. This is this is like shield hero. Where's all you can do XP, is like, man. Defend. No, the anime shows you can be you can XP be OP with like your, your your any tank can be OP in anime. Oh, this is like the mobile game that like at like every sick like certain singularity she you can she only has like a max level and then you can't go any further until you go further in the singularity. Because I think I quit like in the six second singularity or something where you can only max for like level forty and like max level is like eighty or ninety where's, or something like that. So like a long ways to go. Battle experience for sure. Know. You know. It's it's in everybody else than the party members Man, you use over her. <laughs> better servant, Fujimaru. Uh, anyway, I don't I'm care good. if you I don't even care if you're Megamine's voice actor. You need to get better servant. Okay, Megamine's voice actor, uh, voice actress is everywhere. But I'm I'm good. I'm still I'm still excited to see next episode. Yeah, yeah. It's At least still, no more breaks. This, this no more like, random week breaks anymore. Yeah, this is basically this, like, is, doing... this is basically the part where it's like this whole episode is basically the YouTube compilation because there's so much shit going on. Yeah, I was fine with it. Yeah. So yeah, Good. That's, that's gonna be it for Fate Grind Order. Uh, we're gonna move on to It Invaded. It's gonna be me and Koo. All right. I need to hear yes. your thoughts on this episode, Koo, because I'm. I need. I need to remember what happened. You gotta remember. <laughs> okay, I'm trying. I'm slowly piecing it. It was um, God. Basically, I know um. Hondo Machi like solved the mystery of like it was a director even though it was pretty obvious. Like I told you she would, although she did get out, so get that out. was that was nice. So like um, like the show basically like made it obvious it was a director. I guess like the the mystery left is like why he's doing all this, and then uh, Kiki she's like she's in like the suit in the ceiling, so I guess she's like she's still she's like I guess she's still alive and like she's the one powering the the well the the, the id well. Yeah, I want to say she is like the main source of power and the technology in a sense. So like, um, like in like in she kept saying like I think this is like something about her psychic power. So I guess it's like her psychic power is whatever is powering the well. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, I mean, like in all honesty, you can kind of see it come from Malawi that it was the director that was John Walker the whole time. Um. I was just kind of throwing in other theories in there to kind of make it more interesting. Um. Because like basically everything else with the story, it was kind of. Like they were throwing you all in for a loop, and then you didn't get enough information to kind of piece it together. So you're kind of yeah. just being tagged along for the ride. Like basically, like ever since like the inception, like they just basically like just been throwing you the answers now. So, I mean, that's what I've been doing the whole time, honestly. Oh, I guess yeah, uh, but now it's like like the 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 answers of the that we were asking about the whole series. And they're just throwing it mm-hmm. to you, like all now. Yeah. So if you're watching this and you were somehow able to piece this all together before they even did it, either A, you're lying, or B, <laughs> you're a fucking genius. I guess I think I think like the <laughs> people I think people could guess it was a director from like earlier. They uh-huh. made that they made that part obvious. Yeah. I, I just like I just I was hoping that like it wouldn't be I I I thought it was just gonna be like a red herring or it'd be too obvious that it'd be the director who's behind right. all this. So I was hoping someone else, but I guess like yeah, I think that's the, that's the one clue that you can just like figure out on your own. Mm-hmm. But then again, this is probably the only thing that uh, that was like made super obvious to the viewers. Yeah, everything that's else like was... the only thing, basically. But right. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I find it interesting as to how everyone's kind of working together now. Uh, apparently, the guy with the hole in his head, uh, Fukuda, uh, he's an arithmetician or whatever. Yeah, the, 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 uh, uh, Rita okay. maniac or whatever. Right, so he has a thing with numbers, and that's why he drilled that hole in the head uh, to kind of get rid of that urge. Uh, but it failed, and I guess it made it even worse. No, no. So what happened is, um, so in the real world, he when he drilled the hole in the head, it got rid of that. But then when he goes in the well, his the hole's not there anymore. So he becomes, he goes back to being the Rithal maniac. 
So oh, is that what it is? That's okay. what. It, so like, so basically, when they found like the the cockpit, like, and he saw uh-huh. all the numbers that he drew, is because he was obsessed with the numbers. Okay. And he had he had memories of like before, so he knew the numbers were on right. the sand. So okay. he was writing the numbers on like the, the on the, the the cockpit, and then also like. Um, that's why like he knew like basically how to get around once like the storm came up because like he mm-hmm. he remembers the numbers. Okay. So I thought that was really weird because uh I guess I wasn't paying enough attention, but I'm assuming since his memories was intact the whole time that everything transferred over. I didn't think anything changed or it's... something reverted back when he went to the well. Yeah, so. it's basically because like yeah, he he didn't have the whole he doesn't have the hole in his head, like I didn't think about that either, but like yeah, but so I guess there really was a point to that happening. Yeah, he, cause he had, <laughs> he, cause, yeah, he didn't have the hole in his head. Yeah, even though, like, I guess some for some reason, like when Honomachi comes back, she has the hole in her head. Well, that's because he he tapped it and made her aware of it. Oh, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Right. That's all that I could think of. Um, so I'm surprised like another storm or another dogma didn't appear when that happened, but it wasn't her well, so I guess that's no. probably why. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think they're just wrapping it up together now. And like to be honest, it feels kind of rush. I thought this was going to be at least like a two part episode, right? One of them tries to figure out how to get out of Dogma, and then the other episode will be with um, Hondo trying to solve everything. Um, but it's it's starting to feel a little rush for the the end of the. Oh, uh, really? I the I mean, I felt like it deserved more time, especially for this yeah, like yeah. major plot uh, uh, plot point. Uh, they should, I believe, they should be spending more time on this. Because now they have to try to figure out like what's the director's objectives. Oh yeah, um, I guess that part. Like right, to and me, why Kairu is where she is right now and stuff well, like Kairu that. Well, Kairu is Kiki, so they need to explain right. to Kiki. So right. I, I don't. So like, remember, why? I don't remember how many episodes are left, but yeah, they have to explain Kiki for sure. So. Uh huh. And then there's still that scientist. Like, where is he really? Is he really dead? You know, um, oh, like yeah. how did they build this machine? Like, I want to say they should, and they probably will, kind of dive into the origin story of the machine. Or like why they yeah. built in the first place and how they got it that way or how to discover who she was and what her abilities were there there's so much that they still have to explain to us i feel like that that we deserve as a viewer but i don't know how they're going to do it with that short amount of time without just rushing to put everything together i think i think it's like what two episodes left i think they can do it in two episodes um, i mean i suppose I, but I again like I, guess I, I don't feel like it's rushed i feel like besides a couple episodes like in this season it feels like everything was revolving around like just like basically just just from like if we revolve around like like Fukuda, like or like basically him kidnapping honomachi and the whole thing that which came from mm-hmm. which which and then like his victim was like the grave digger and that that led to like um opening up the well opening up um like like sakaido's well and stuff and then Mm-hmm. Then they go through the whole backstory, so it just felt like everything was pretty connected. I mean, it was connected, but they didn't. Uh, they were just like throwing the answers to you. They didn't try to make you like guess what could be the solution. Like for instance, with oh, yeah. Hondo, when when she went back to uh, uh, Sakaido's like uh, like drawing board, where oh, you yeah, was trying to figure out what's going on. When she figured out the, like, the days of the week. Yeah, she just figured out like that, right? Yeah. Like, and I know she good but she figured out like way too quick there wasn't really anything to I mean, go she off had, of like, but her, she, had, she had the notebook too but they don't show that to the viewer so you have no idea how like she... right like, but was, like it was, it was something like like the days like didn't match up whatever but yeah right like one day was the face the other day was arms you know blah 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 no, but the thing is something like it was like uh, the discrepancy between like the day that they died and like the day that the body was discovered so no, it was the day that the injury occurred, and like like I said, on Mondays, uh, the injuries that occur were were done to the face, and then on Tuesdays, injuries yeah, were done to like the, say the, the legs. Days, the, but like it, the um, the time of the time that the bodies were discovered, they were they were, um, like the times were like misleading on purpose, so they wouldn't figure out. The, right. they wouldn't figure. Right, it so out. she wouldn't figure it out. But then she was able to figure it out like that. So I felt like. Yeah. Uh, that's that's why I say I feel like they're they're rushed it because at this point they're not even giving you a chance to try to guess what's happening. They're just. I mean, that's what's always been happening in this, this series. So. No, but before they at least give you some kind of story or some kind of explanation as to how they came to that conclusion, but right now there is none of that. It's just straight to the point. Uh, but I mean, maybe that's just my point of view on it. I, uh, I, I guess. I, yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's a little bit rushed, and then now everyone's all buddy buddy, and everyone's. Sobbing it together, and it's now down 
to fight I guess, the finals. I guess I'll have to wait till like the end of the season for I, I, I'm right now I'm fine with the pace, but I guess I'll mm-hmm. we'll see how it ends because yeah, they still have, there's, there's still a lot to left to explain. Right. I mean, maybe it's just because I'm a, I'll want more. Maybe that's <laughs> what it is. <laughs> uh, but I mean, like it's it was pretty intense with this episode. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I really can't wait to see what's going on. But I, I think at this point, it's starting to become more and more uh, uh, predictable. So hopefully, they don't go that route. Yeah, it's basically just like like we already know like the how, or most of the how. We just need all the why. That's like the only thing yep. that made me laugh is like why why like why all this you know and, and I guess who and Kiki like the like why I, yeah the why like why is she like the main source of all this why is the director so obsessed with her and like why is he like mm-hmm. keep keep inviting serial killers to kill her in her dreams mm-hmm. yeah and, and especially with uh the motive i wonder if it's something that had to do with the chief when he was in america or whatever because that's when he first became uh john walker i don't know is that's that right? when he first became john walker that's the, that, i think it's just like that was just a discrepancy in like the, the times because uh huh. He was just because he was overseas, and that's how like that's how they figured that like he was the one like doing the nap at like two p.m. Whatever, because because mm-hmm. someone else is overseas, which again like the viewer didn't know. So right. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Like, there's still a lot of ex- things that that needs explanation, but um. Yeah. There, there's oh man, there's there's so many things I need answers for, but. With, with only two episodes left, oh, I don't know how they're gonna do it. I wonder if this is like, if this is an original or this is like a manga. Because I wonder if like it was like this rush in the manga, then maybe or, mm. uh, or wonder if this is this is like, it's a short manga and they actually can, can like fit it all into like this 13, 13, 12 or thirteen episode series. I mean, I, I would assume so. Why else would they just give it eleven episodes rather than the usual twelve or thirteen? Oh yeah, is it eleven? I thought it was twelve. Didn't you say it was eleven? I think it was twelve. Darwin's game is eleven, but that's because the first episode was an hour. Oh, long. okay. But okay. I'm pretty sure this is twelve or thirteen. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, I guess that's fine. That was a uh, uh, overlook of my, of my part. Too, but also, yeah. I just want to mention too that, like, of course, like, uh, that, uh, that one chick, like, when, like, when um, she said like, oh, like that picture is different. Like I know because like it wasn't there before when I was in his room, and the whole yeah. room was like, oh, oh okay. <gasps> No so, way. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious to the viewers, but it's, just, it's kind of funny. Like everyone had to like, acknowledge that, like, oh, oh, yeah, yes, like, like she just casually yeah. said, she just casually said, like, yeah, I went to, his, we were, <laughs> we were in that kind of relationship. I mean, she could have meant it in some other context. Oh, you yeah, know, she was just there for business purposes. Yeah, yeah, you know, right. Bring out the Bill Clinton montage. <laughs> I do not have. <laughs> so, hey. Uh. But yeah, I mean, like I said, yeah, I thought that was pretty funny too. Like at first, I was like, I didn't really get it. But then uh, when they did like the the, the different cutscenes of like the different guys, and they were just like shocked, I was like, oh, oh that, that's that's what happened. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I don't know. What do you what do you think's gonna gonna happen then? Like, what do you think was the the reasoning for the directors <sighs> doing all this? Usually, usually, these things it's it's always like. It's not even usually like the director doing it. It's, it could be like he was controlled by something else. I don't know. So like blackmail? Either blackmail or like some like hi- someone higher up is like ordering him to do it. But then like, uh huh. But then like that's there's no time to explain that. So I hope I don't know. Right. See, there's not enough time. So it's if it is like the director all by himself, it'd be like some sort of like he like then it's like you know he's the psycho. Hmm. So like. So he be, he's the one that like wants to like he he wants to like figure out more of people's minds. He he wanted to get down like he wanted to dive more in people's minds. Maybe he's like he's the one of the serial killer mentality. So and hmm. but he didn't want to get his he didn't want to get his hands dirty, so he did all this just so he can like that's why he's planting the serial killer mentality in all the other people. Yeah, so I'm gonna assume there's two different reasons. Uh, either one is yeah, he has that that urge, but he can't do it. But as a director, he has that this these certain privileges and powers, so he can have these others do it for him, and he can experience it. So it's as if he's doing it himself. Uh, so maybe he's just uh, like getting off on these murders through others, and that's why he created this well. Yeah. Uh, but I think the 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 main thing would be I think the main villain here would be the scientist. 
I think he's like the main character or the main key character for this Maybe. because we haven't seen him yet other than that one instance where he was in the hospital yeah. next to uh, Kiki. Uh, but we have yet to see him again. And um, if you're if what you say is true with the whole blackmailing thing, maybe the scientist is blackmailing him, the, the director to do all this for him, for his well, not research. Well, I mean blackmailing. He's, he's like, yeah, he's just the, a puppet of like the scientist. Right. So that'd, be, that'd, be, that'd be like, yeah, the explanation. Like, you know. Yeah. Or maybe the, the maybe Kiki is the director's like granddaughter or something, and then the scientist is doing this to kind of help Kiki. So he's just like, oh, like I said, he's a puppet. Yeah, I guess. So I mean, that that's my uh, my, my thought is it's just like yeah, just he's like the serial killer, and he he found out he like found out about Kiki, and then that's and mm-hmm. he, he put this whole plan in motion to just to take advantage of her. Yeah. So. Um. But yeah, I mean, I, I think that's it though. Like, uh, I'm still, pre- I'm still really enjoying yeah, the season. It's still, like, yeah, definitely my my favorite uh series of the season. Oh yeah, no, it, it's really good. Um, I I really, I mean, I don't have too many complaints about it, but it's I think everything's been well done so yeah. far. Uh, but yeah, that's just that. it's like because we you know like I saw I'm immersing the summary. I had no idea what this is gonna be about, but it looked interesting. But I didn't expect to get this into it. Like, hmm. Yeah, I don't think I was going to watch it unless until you. I don't know if you recommended it or you say you're going to. I said look I at said it. I was going to watch it because like because um. It was interesting. The cover looked interesting, honestly. It's just like yeah, and like the whole like mystery part was in the summary. Hmm. And like so, it was, it was like one of the it was like one of the more unique looking titles. So like, mm-hmm. it didn't look you know like the the, the, the usual generic stuff we watch. <laughs> so like. <laughs> So I was if like, it ain't broke, oh. don't fix it. So I was like, okay, maybe this one, like, we'll, I'll give this a try. Because, like, you know, especially because it's winter, and, like, we didn't have much to watch. So mm-hmm. I'm really glad I gave this series a chance. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so here's hoping to a strong finish, then, for this one. Yeah. Hopefully it's not Rush. <laughs> Sorry. So that's going to be it for uh, It Invaded. Uh, we're going next to Darwin's Game. I'm pretty sure you enjoyed this episode, Coog, because of the introduction <laughs> of the new female you character. Have, you have no idea. All right, so Zulan, fucking babe, right? <laughs> but then now it's going to the the stereotypical uh, Chinese assassin or whatever, like family of assassins back, yep. dated back 2,000 years. Like, she, she didn't even need the game to get her powers. She was already this strong based on her family's yep. techniques. And then, um, yeah, so she's fucking total I, babe. I could tell, tell. She's like, to- she's total waifu material for for Ku. Totally, dude. Just the, the any moment, day. The moment I saw, well, we never saw her face till now because she always had had that that mask on. But like, right? Yeah, I, I I think it's still really weird how easily she joined the clan, even though she did say like, like, I mean, there's no guarantee that she won't betray them. But like, it's just really weird how e- how easy that felt for her to join. Hey, I mean, when you want the D, uh, you, it just, it just you feels, feel certain. It just feels so out of place, like because like everyone was joined because they they all really believe in Kaname, and she's just just like I don't know. It's just if it's, if Shuko didn't have that certain relationship or feelings for Kaname, then I would have never expected this to occur. But I would I was kind of assuming that there was gonna be another female character involved that would try to want Kaname because he is like fairly strong. Because uh, that's the reason why she wants him in the first place, right? No matter what situation he's in, he's in. He's not really suited for this, or he's not really trained for it. But his natural instincts just take over, and he survived this whole time. So that makes him very desirable from from her standpoint. Um, but but regarding that though, um, how did you enjoy the the fight with uh, the other clan leader? I I forgot. Uh, Danjo. Yeah, Danjo. The Russian dude. The Russian who's you know, total Eve. Did you get the uh the what was it Colossus from X Men? Like I felt like that was his quirk or his. I don't know. Uh, I don't sigil. know much about X Men, so. Yeah, so in X Men, it's basically a guy who's constantly either he can transform or he's constantly made out of like like metal or whatever. I mean, I just thought about, about basically yeah, just the Hero Academia, like the two. There's so many people here in academia that can turn their like they can harden their bodies. So I just imagine that. Oh yeah, uh, Kirishima's rival, right? From the well, from his, the his, him, his rival, and like the other guy who like with the, the sugar rush, where he turns hard too. 
Oh, right, right, right. so many people, like, in Hero Academia and, like, other animes that can turn their body hard, so it wasn't hard to imagine not, that. Not just hard, tungsten, tungsten hard. Tungsten, yes. Yeah. We all know, so. hope you remember Tungsten from Dr. Stone. <laughs> if you three. don't, go watch Dr. Stone. You'll learn metals. so much. Right. Um, yeah, I thought the fight was actually pretty interesting. Although, I, I am kind of disappointed that they didn't really showcase Konami's new privilege yet. So, oh, I, uh, but, I mean, just yeah. the fight, like, it was basically just him, like, shooting his machine gun just to press fire. And, mm-hmm. like, him, he just, it got, inter- I mean, it got interrupted by the, by Julan anyway. So, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, but he was about to pop off. I feel like he could have easily overtaken Danjo when he, uh, about that because, did like, the flashbang. Well, we, when we, he released the flashbang, he had like a total advantage over him because he was blind, and then it gave Konami enough time to pull up two some machine guns and point it at the guy. Would it really do much against the the, the armor though? Like, well, if uh, I feel like if he was really serious, once he got that that brief moment to like recollect himself, because he he must have a lot of time, right? He was able to get out from under Donjo, get back up, and create the weapons, and then that time he could like easily. Uh, like change how the gun was made to make the firepower stronger. I guess, uh, yeah. Right? I wasn't... So he, yeah. Um, so I felt like he had the perfect opportunity, but he waited for him to recover from the flashbang and said, "Hey, do you want to keep going? It's my win." You know, stuff like that. It's so. just like the fight with Shulan just over, like totally over overshadowed like um, oh yeah the Donjo fight. So I was way more interested in like in their fight. I guess it's like, technically a cool clan fight, but right. But man. Sulan, oof, man. Too bad the uh the season's ending. Um But yeah, well, I, yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, I was I was surprised that like it was a fight with her because like cause the last episode, the cliffhanger was about like his friend getting kidnapped. Mm-hmm. And then the end of this episode has like the the, the extra eps, extra scene at the end where his fingers got cut off. And then to fight yeah. Ace Clan. See that now now they have Julon, like they can I totally believe they can it actually, it's actually Easy. more believable. Like they, they can fight against like uh, Wang now. Mm-hmm. Actually, I wonder. I wonder if they're like if they knew each other or something. Like, even though they're both, I shouldn't um, assume because they're both Chinese. But I, I don't. I don't think so. But I'm sure that they would be a good match with each other. Um, I don't think Zulan's first skill, the uh, what's it called, the like the energy swords or whatever. It's like it's, it's not yeah whatever. Like it's like people keep um making comparisons to like, other like martial arts. Like shows right. where it's like I assume it's like one of the things where, like where it's like a key attack that like drains like people's like energy or either that or like the you, you like, hit, hit, like, like the you, death stare like a death stare in a sense where it just makes you lose all will to try yeah. and you just lose hope or whatever. It was kind of confusing because they kept referring it as a sword like getting cut by a blade, right. but I think it's just like yeah, like something about I think it's like an like something like a stare or an aura that like makes you like mm-hmm. yeah like yeah. lose your and energy. It, and if you're not afraid of death, it's not going to affect you. So, like Shuka, that that moment with Shuka, it it made you see the weakness or the exploit and the ability. But even then, she was still pretty strong. Yeah. Um. So I think she's going to need something else for sure to fight against Wang. Yeah, I'm surprised. Okay, I'm so I guess I was surprised that Shulan was the number one rank. I, mm-hmm. Like, cause I I I thought it would be someone. I thought be like they would show it, they would be saving it later in the series to have number one player. Mm. I know I know Shuka is an A rank, but I don't know how high she is. And then you assume Wang is like very high up there too. Right. So I'm surprised. Yeah, they just they brought up the number one player already. Yeah, I mean it's um it, it makes you go back makes you bring up that point again where no excuse me uh that they're kind of just rushing everything. They're just throwing out all the the elements of the story like all the characters because Danjo is ranked number four, Zulan's ranked number one. Um, yeah. And they're they're rushing to the point where it's like, oh, you got to save your friend now. Now that oh, you have a new. Like too, I'm just when that, well, I was surprised that she joined. I I'm surprised she didn't have her own clan. Like you think the number one player, will like would have like a, yeah have her own clan and stuff. So I'm surprised she didn't already have one. So like so like mm. when he has to join, I, I'm like, wait, don't you already have your own like clan? You get really have to join his or. Well, to be fair, she does have her own clan, but it's outside of the game. I guess, like, I guess. I mean, that's why I meant like that. Her right. own like D game clan, right? Like, even but, if you are like the strongest and the number one player, you still like want like a team to back you up. Like, you oh, it depends. You maybe she's just, like you don't want just one. Maybe she's nine. like Kirito. No, maybe she's like Kirito. You know, she I just wants. Know, you'd still, 
I, even if you're strong, you still want the security of having like strength in numbers. No, because a, a truly alpha male would not think that way. <laughs> like I'm the best. Ain't no one gonna mess with me. Um, but I mean, like I said, I, like with her personality and her abilities, I I can perfectly see why she doesn't have a clan or why she doesn't want one because it doesn't really benefit her. She doesn't really need it. Like you know, honestly, I don't know why she's in the D game. Uh, oh, other um, than to maybe look for like a new potential user. She um, I think they mentioned this a little bit. How she kept saying how um, I think. He, like uh, when uh, the administrator, when when Kaname was on the phone call with him, uh-huh. he was saying stuff too about like how I think he was giving hints about like why the game was created, and and it sounded like Julan was saying that too. How um, like Kaname is like the perfect soldier because like he mm-hmm. like he like doesn't get tense during battle. He like, he it gives him like the cold silver or whatever. Mm-hmm. So it sounds like it sounds like the game in general was like made to like to create like super soldiers like try find like soldiers in right. some sort of battle like like or, or or trying to recruit them to like this this you know secret army right so it sounds like it's just yeah it sounds like shulan was like she's basically like trying to recruit like people like uh kind of made into like an army or try and turn them to soldiers that's what that's kind of thing i got it's like it's like yeah it's it's trying to find like the best soldiers that's why that's why uh i i, w- I want to say no to that because she wasn't interested in him just for that, but more to just have someone to like uh, continue the family legacy. She just wanted like a strong husband I, for a strong offspring. I think. I think so that, I don't I, think I, she's been doing that with everyone that no, she. No, I think. I think. I think that's. I think that's just like an after, like a, a bonus. I think she still wanted. She was still looking for because when she was in like um, she was in the gambling arena watching the, mm-hmm. the match, the event. I think she was looking for like the whoever was gonna win. I think she was gonna recruit them no matter what mm-hmm. and i think that like yeah it's just it's just a bonus that like that he could be like her husband too so right hmm, i suppose but then in that case she would have went after wayne first right wouldn't you think well uh kind of won the event so like right but it wasn't just off of that it was just probably his combat like, ability is a lot higher or better than um Kaname. i guess i uh-huh. so um, stuff like that, like, yeah. stuff like that. I just, I just put because you know he's the main character, so like right. you got plot armor. You got like yeah, have plot armor and like get <laughs> get the the hair I'm going. So right, and like um, I I think maybe because like she might think it's easier to control him than Wang, but I don't, mm, I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see. It's I just had to yeah. I just you just give me that feeling that like that like. But yeah, one part of the, the, the she just kept mentioning about his combat abilities and like how mm-hmm. how he's talented in that way. Yep. So that, that's that's just what made me think about it. But we'll see. I mean, it's a really good possibility. Um, I I, I can see where that's I'm just, going. I'm just still like, yeah, I'm just really surprised that like she's like solo, like she doesn't have her own clan. Hey, I'm telling you, when you when you're strong, independent woman, you don't need no man. <laughs> I, mean, I guess I guess it's like the assassin mindset, but like still right especially that you know still, so like, you could you, if you're that strong you'd make your own clan mm, i don't know everyone has different agendas so but yeah i mean yeah that's that's all i got or i mean she was trying to recruit him anyways right. it just ended up like she got recruited like it was like in that line saying how mm-hmm. like you know this like you were trying to recruit me but in the end you got recruited by me so mm-hmm. yeah but I hope um the next no I think cause I think there's only two episodes left so hopefully and it's you know it's it's a battle against finally the, like the, the the final the the end battle against against Wang and the eighth clan so hopefully there's I don't know more action or I, hopefully there's a, a satisfying ending for the, for the fight. In all honesty, I don't think it's gonna be. Uh, I feel like if they ended it like at this episode, I'd be okay with that just because of how it, awesome it would be. Is. Yeah, but like. Um, but yeah, because I feel like what, what are they gonna do, right? They're gonna go, they're gonna get him back, they're gonna win, and then they're gonna uh, Konami's gonna recruit his friend into his clan, I guess, to protect them because now that he's involved in it. Um, unless they have like some kind of special gotcha item where you could erase their memory and put them back. And yeah. I just, in the I field. mean, again, yeah, I just assume that like, um, basically like Konami or no, uh, that uh, Shuka and like Julan, they're just, they're gonna be like 
like the one v a hundred, just like crowd control against everyone, and then v one one v one against like Wang, and just、mm-hmm. like kind of man, just like throwing everything with a single against him. Yeah, and I think he can go one v one against Wang,、uh, Wang now, at least、uh, I mean, reaction even after, wise. Even after two months of training, it's still like. Again, he was fighting against a number four guy, and he was able to fend him off fairly well.、Uh, uh, even with his advantage, right? It might not be fair, but、uh, it's it's it goes to show that I would his still, I would still、like、his ability is is a lot better. I would still like to think that uh that you like he's still he's still inexperienced compared to Wang, and、mm. so so like it still will be a hard fight. Yeah, I mean, but we'll we'll see, we'll, we'll see. But, <laughs> Yeah,、uh, so I'm still really enjoying this. It's like one of the,、uh, you know, the, the the battle survival games I, I've enjoyed so far.、Mm. Uh, just yeah, I gotta say, out of all the ones I've seen, this is probably so far the pacing and the story has been like really well done.、Um, and the character is someone that I actually like I mean,、yeah, rather than he's actually than pretty useful in fights, not just being a bitch. Right, like he's deserving of the MC title, right? <laughs> Compared to, like all the others I watch, it's kind of like why is this bitch the MC? Like I, I don't、it's、see why. Like they have like they get lucky or they get, they hide they hide behind the heroine, which is almost、right. what this would have been. Like he almost he could almost could have been pigeonholed into like hiding behind the heroine. What? Never. That was well, never. Almost. I'm saying like that's that's what it's setting up to be. Like,、mm, I I guess, but uh, yeah, but yeah, I think he's a pretty damn good MC and uh. Ah, dude, fucking Zulong, dude, ah, so good. <laughs> just total life of material. Total. Oh my god, you.、Uh, yeah, I can go on forever, so I'm just gonna end it there. But total waifu. She just wants your seed. All right, so that's that's gonna be it for、uh, Darwin's game.、Uh, move on next to Science Fell in Love. Um, so this episode had like was like high and low for me. Like, so the part where um. When he was trying to like, figure out what what's his fault, and he gets the percentage, I actually I laughed pretty hard at that <laughs> part. <was> <laughs> it's like okay, thirty percent of it is because I did this. The other thirty is because of this, and then here's here's a breakdown of the pie chart of like all the reasons why this <laughs> is my fault. Yeah, because I think in this episode they're going more towards like the actual like norm, right? Yeah, like what normally will happen, what will be the response, and. Science can't help you here. It's basically、oh, no, no. you well, just. They were they're still referring back to like their their、um, analytical part, but it's just like it right, was, and it, I, and I was, love that it was more ridiculous this episode, so that's why it was more funny because that that's when the comedy actually shined because you right because like the other times it just felt flat, but this time the ridiculousness actually felt funny. Yeah, and it's like I said, and I feel like it's because it's more realistic, right? Because as Koska pointed out when she asked the question, "Do you know why I'm mad at you?" Even Koska was like, "Dude." This is like this is like worse than the NP impossible problem. <laughs> There is no right answer to this, no matter what、yeah. you do. And then yeah, like the response that、uh, you can move ahead to that, I thought was pretty funny. Like it was it was to be expected. Like I love how they never broke out of character, and they're still a science type.、Yeah. But now that it's getting more intense for them in a sense, like the like the the regular raw human motion is starting to come well, out. Well, it's you know? it's nice that Hermora like she and she realizes that like like she's also. Like like she got mad, or it's partially her fault too that she got mad and stuff. And she, right, like just like, she, like she's she's recognizing her own jealousy.、Mm-hmm. Is she's not just like, you know, any other like, any other like um like romance series. Like it just she like would hold it in、mm-hmm. for a long time. Kept blaming like the other guy. So it's nice that she recognizes that. Yeah, and I, I like and, the little backstory. And, like, and she and she like, quickly. Realized, she, and she quickly, she quickly tried to um, she tried to make up to, to uh, the other guy instead of just like, yeah, just like sulking the whole time. Yeah, and as a man, I find it refreshing when the girl realizes they're wrong and they try to make up with you. Because let's be real, in real、yeah. life, that's never gonna yeah, happen. Yeah. <laughs> like, like if you fucked up as a guy, you're,、uh, that's on you. But, yeah. uh, yeah, no, actually, and and, like, and that too, and and like um. And like in you know Kana day, she she felt bad too because she thought like it was she felt bad that for kind of being the cause for us. And even her and then her mom、right. was like, "No, you're my friend. Like I I trust you. You know, so it's it's nice to have、mm. that." Right. The annoying thing is just the stupid fucking manga artist at the end. God, that was so annoying. 
Oh yeah, they finally brought her back in, the but stupid... she still didn't really play much of a part. Don't um, I mean, I, I mean, she still like she, she messed with it. It's like, god damn it! Like, why did she have to bring in this stupid drama like that? Like, just let her like give like the the present she the present she worked hard to get. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Ibarada's gonna try to help him and fix it somehow because I felt like she was aware of what the the manga artist was doing. Yeah, but it's like, uh, god, why why did they have to bring? Why did this have to happen? You know. The only good thing is that, like, that, uh, like, the other guy, like, the guy, he, he saw, like, that the thesis, which was pretty funny, too, that, like, mm-hmm. she figured out how to write, like, a thesis apology in, like, 30 minutes. So, the, the like said, nice thing is, like, like yeah, it was in the bag, so it was pretty easy for him to figure out, too, but, again, mm-hmm. they didn't have to be this way. You know, I gotta say, Himaro and Azulon, man, they are my top runners. It, it's a pretty close call for top waifu of the season, Jeez. but... Well, it's nice. Well, I don't know about Julan, but like her, mar- it's nice having a you know adults in anime. So there's plenty of adults in anime. What are you talking about? You mean it's nice to have a science type that's logical and reasonable? It's nice. It's nice watching a series, but like even though they're still like in college, it's still, like they're just twenty two. It's nice like watching adults. Like even though I guess they they don't know much about relationships, so it's still like high school kids. Are you uh, taking good notes, David? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, I'm just like it's nice, like breaking out of that high school mold. I'm just fucking like... with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Next time I get an argument with someone, I'm gonna say, "Here's the pie chart breakdown of like why the reasons why I think you're mad." Dude, because I wanted to know what he would have said, and I was right. Like, like, gotta take notes. What should you say? Nope. Next Even time... a scientist can't figure this shit out. Nope. Next time I'm late, someone be like, "Okay, here's the breakdown of like." Here's how here, this many minutes is I'm late because of this. The thirty percent, twenty percent is this, ten percent is this, and then the four percent is because I didn't feel like going. In. Yeah, bro, we gotta have reports. You gotta have pie charts. You gotta have graphs. Just uh, it makes it so much easier. So, like, um, so like stuff like that. Like, I wish there was more of that, or like how, even like when when the other episodes when Connor Day was like, giving her a presentation about like trying to. Be efficient as possible at the amusement park, you know that the stuff like that is like the comedy of the series. So mm-hmm. it sucks that like when they they like they just they go off like I don't know what like they go off track with with that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's I guess I guess it's kind of hard to keep it strong the whole season. I still um, I still think it's just because like it's because like their focus is like math and pure science. If there was like other, it was some other science focus. I think they could find some way to like, ha- make it more like more like comedy related to the science right I, I get that it'll be hard to kind of balance the two to make it like a the perfect mix for our enjoyment um but i mean the start was strong it looks like they're going to end strong um yeah. and at, at least it's it's somewhat consistent right? right like the majority of the series was enjoyable uh, even though like the middle was stale but i felt like that's kind of a common thing with these type of animes um so uh, there's there's been plenty where like they've been strong the whole time, so. Um, I can't really think of any recent ones that are like that. It's hard to give an example now, but I'm I know there's some, so. Right. It can, it, I mean, it can be done. I know it's just it's harder, but like. Right, right. It's just a shame because it's, it's, it's a shame because like I like this concept of like mixing the the science and the comedy. Mm-hmm. So. But you're kind of biased though because you said it kind of fits into like your major as well, well right? Si- it's all computer science, so right. So maybe that's it. That's but as I was, a, I was, I was trying, I was trying hard, or I was rooting hard for them, and just couldn't live right. up to my expectations. But as an uneducated, uh, cultured man, um, you know, it, it was all right. Oh, and also that reminds me too, like when uh, when Shimura was like being bullied like in school, and it's like she was saying like, oh. Like don't I understand you know like animals do this too like it's just behavior being territorial and group culture so in a way it looks like you're just intelligent as animals. Like I said, she's got that's ugh, perfect. That was I was like damn nice burn, but she's only that confident because she met um the other guy when she was little and he gave her that confidence boost. True, true. So. But she's still a fucking babe, bro. <laughs> mm. Good stuff. Even like, like from that moment, she just totally did a one eighty and reinvented herself. And like, I think that confidence is just really attractive in a woman, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, that's that's all I got for though. There wasn't really much going on other than that. But it looks like no, it's, it's it's not just this episode was like one of the, one of the stronger one, just because like 
Yeah. Just the 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 jealousy like pie chart that the the mad the reason I'm mad pie chart just it just got me. I laughed so hard yeah. at that. It just them being although, ridiculous. Although the last episode it's still my favorite so far with the whole presentation on uh, adult gaming uh, and Kosuke. I, I th- thought this that was one's like probably the best one. episode. This, this one, you say this one or one of the early ones would be my favorite. So. Mm. But, uh, but yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, so that's it for science, fun, love. Uh, we're going next to Bo Fury. Uh, Ku has to solve this one because I'm still behind. Yeah, so you know what, man? I mean, I don't know. It's uh, there's there's really nothing too crazy going on. They're still just are they still in that one event or did they finish? Yes. So the the event just started, and right now it's one of those uh, let's see siege and defend events where basically power, power every events? nope. So basically, with this event that just started, um, everyone gets an orb and they have a like a lair that they have to protect this orb in, and then oh, like capture the flag, right? So uh, you have to send some people to go get other people's orbs or their flags and bring them back to your base. And then others will come and try to invade your base to grab your orb slash flag and bring it back to them. And then you get points. Um, so that's basically the, the theme of this event. And basically, you know, the bigger your team or the bigger your guild, the more the, the better advantage you have. But as a smaller guild, if you're able to capture orbs, you get more points from doing so. Um so it, it it is getting a lot better where it's more team focused, team oriented, because it's focused on uh, Sally. Right. So this is focusing more on Sally and um, the the samurai girl and then the the red shielder guy. Um, they're going out there to get these uh, orbs, and everyone else is back at base just defending. Um, Sally is gets a lot of airtime in this episode, um, and I believe she's. I feel like she's pretty much undefeatable in PvP just because everyone that she goes up against, she's just like just slowly taking them, like easily taking them out. Like it's no issue. Um, so even though Maple is like really OP, they didn't really showcase that this round. But it's just the fact that um, it's still feeling kind of lackluster, um, <laughs> all in all. But um, with the, with the with next the episode of two, yeah, with the next episode of two, it should start picking up more. Um, yeah, because even like with, I don't know if you remember, but the the fire clan, like uh, the religious cult, that had that uh, the red hair uh, fire pyro chick as a leader. Uh, so I apparently, think, I don't think I made it that far. No, okay. So uh, Sally, they're they're really big and really strong guild. Uh, Sally stole one of the orbs from them, and then the. The, the red hair chick was chasing after Sally, but Sally got away because she can like just go super fast or whatever. And then like after she she lost Sally, she just gave up, started crying, and acted like a total child. So <laughs> like totally opposite of what her image uh was that she was yeah. like showcasing. And then right now they haven't really showcased like the the guy that I'm really interested in is Pain, uh the the top PvP guy currently. Uh, the one that was number one in the very first event they had in the, in the series. Uh, they haven't showcased like them fighting against uh, his guild yet, um, but I feel like that would probably be the highlight of the series. Like if they were to go head to head. So I mean, we just like even like even if you're not taking this show seriously, like you still enjoy watching. watching it? I mean, like, just... I'm enjoying it. I'd say it's enjoyable. Like, like I would give it basically like like if you're into like you know the art style and you want like. Just some goofy adventure, like just be nice yeah. So so watch. far, if 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 I were to grade this anime, right? If you are a casual anime watcher and you just want something lighthearted and something fun to watch, I would give this a, a seven out of ten. But I'd say if you're one of us and you you kind of want something that's good, I would give this like a five or six out of ten. Like it's enjoyable, but uh, you can't be expecting too much. And there are some times where you're just thinking like. This is kind of boring. See, like I was ready to give them like just like just or a pass just because I wasn't expecting much. But then like once they go mm-hmm. past the gimmick, like like if you, if you just kept her as the tank, I would just right. give him a pass. But then like once you if you say like you gotta do past that, it's like come on, like stay with the gimmick at least. Like 
Yeah, they're they're trying to do too many things at once. They want to showcase Maple a couple times, and then they want to showcase Sally and then the other guildmates. But and just uh, like just the fact that they even like acknowledge the patch notes, it just it just felt like too uh-huh. late in my mind. Just like yeah, like if you're already gonna do that, like it, you should have had that before. You should have had that before like the first episode, or, or I don't know. You sh- it shouldn't have been like added in like later. So it just makes yeah, the, it just, it just the, makes it sound like you're making up as you go along. Yeah, there's no real structure to this anime, which is kind of disappointing. That's there's always fine. these, there's always these things where like the these creatures that are kind of representing the admins or the developers of the game, they, they acknowledge Maple and how overpowered she is. But other than episode two, where they actually nerfed her like devour skill, like they haven't touched her kit since, and so she's still this super OP yeah. character that everyone's talking about. Um, and then again, like they're not focusing on one like their one gimmick which is maple they're they're trying to get some airtime to the guild and then they get some airtime to maple and it, it, it's it's kind of just all over the place um and in the art style it's not very like very serious or or shonen or anything like that yeah. it's very like cutesy you know um uh, and whatnot so i assume um, like i mean like what i've seen so far I, like the, the fights are pretty basic too so yeah, they're nothing amazing. Like it's it's pretty it's pretty nice change of pace. Uh, like especially Sally. I think Sally scenes are probably the best action scenes in the series. Yeah. But even then, it's nothing like amazing. It's just fairly standard stuff. So, I mean, again, it's just like the the web novel format where mm-hmm. there's a there's a popular site in Japan in in Japan where anyone can write and be their own you know author, and so people just post chapters there, and like and so it's because it's because of that format. Because you know it's more free, free for all. That like anyone can post chapters, but then like if your series somehow gets popular, then like you, and you don't expect it, like you're not planned to like you don't actually plan for it being a long term right. series. Like so that's why you just end up with a cycle. Just keep on making things up as you go along. That's why like, a lot of mm-hmm. these isekais, you know, like a lot of times they just they just make up as they go along. So it's just all these OP things happening because they don't know. They don't know like what's gonna happen in the story. Like they didn't expect their, their series to be this popular, right? So yeah, I mean, I'm already vested this much into it, and like I said, it's not a a boring show by any means. It's it's still entertaining. Yeah. It's just there are some moments where you're like, man, why am I watching this again? <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, I mean that's that's this episode. I, um, for me, it's like I would not even I would have like been totally immersed and not pay attention if like they stuck with the gimmick, like. Right, because like because they do all this, like giving her so much power, so it's just like just stick with the gimmick, and then I would have like been like much more. It would have been much more believable. Yeah, like like what is the title of your show? It's I don't want to get hurt, so I'm gonna max on my defense. But after episode two, it's been none of that. It's just I'm gonna get stronger and stronger and stronger, and I'm just gonna one shot everything. Yeah, you know, and it's, even it's even like... have like the two people like who max with their 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 attack. So it's like you could have. That could have been such a good gimmick. You had these two people, like the opposite, like, like opposite right. like, max max stats. Uh, that would have been a good gimmick. Right, max intelligence, max agility, max defense, attack. You know, that could have been that, like, that would have been, that would have been a great the gimmick of your show. Like, right, you that would have been have, great. You got so many people who just like lack in so many different things. That could have been a good comedy right there. Yeah, and there's so many ways that they could work that together. Like when Sally and Mabel was still just trying to like get around and get used to each other. Like, like Maple's agility was uh, like one or zero, so she couldn't run that fast. Yeah. But then they were able to compensate for that by either a having her ride on Sally because Sally was super fast. Yeah, that, that part is actually pretty funny. Yeah, because it, it right. it's like poking fun at the at her shortcomings. Right, or B, she had an ability where she can cover someone, and she basically teleports in front of someone to take on their hits. So that was her way of fast traveling as well. So there was many ways that they could work around with the whole like max one stat and then like zero stats in the other. Um, uh, abilities so uh there, those there's they already like knocked on it and uh they they brought it up but they didn't really emphasize that so i felt like it was a lot of lost uh potential there that they had um but yeah i mean what do you gonna do right you're, you're not you're not the the mangaka you're not the, the I, producer I appreciate the web novel so what novel? okay so i mean yeah uh but yeah it's whatever it's <laughs> It's just, um, I don't know, it's like, it's just, it sucks that, like, stuff like this, like, still gets popular, so, mm-hmm. like, yeah, like, I, like, I mean, honestly, like, I mean, I just wish, I just wish the quality would just go up just a little bit higher, you know, just, like, it just feels like, 
we're just at the, we're just, we're just setting the bar lower and lower each time. Like just put a little bit higher. You know, I mean, like I said, it is winter, so it's the bar's not set that high. And if Infinite Denogram was just slightly better, I would have dropped this for Infinite Denogram. But uh, it, yeah, like I said, it's winter season it's kind of weak, so it's whatever. Just still waiting for my my dream MMO anime. Uh, just one day. Just give me just give me my guild. <laughs> give me my 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 team my team attack my guild and actual like raid management bring back a reboot of sword art online that's what i want <laughs> the original series reboot it that's what i want that's I mean, or oh no no I, uh like fantasy in the grimoire or something oh Grim, uh, grimgar that? yeah grimgar, grimgar fantasy or whatever fantasy of ash that was has got to be my favorite isekai slash yeah, it's it's a cat, I guess. Okay, yeah, yeah. I enjoyed but, it like, too. Yeah, that's got to be like my favorite out of the whole two series. So, mm-hmm. um, sadly, it only got twelve episodes, and that was it. So, uh, the light novel is like getting released in English, so I'm gonna eventually read through the series. Yeah, I guess I'll have to learn how to read and pick that up too. So, oh, yeah. but uh, but yeah, that's that's all I got for this one. All right, so that's gonna be it for Bull Fury. Um, move next to Inspector. Uh, again, I don't really, I don't really have much to say just because like, I still feel like this whole like this whole arc with Steel Lady Nana say like it's just been dragging on. It's just it's just this time like we finally get to see we finally get to see Coltico um fight back, just putting up her own her own knives on to 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 combat like just just the spreading the rumors on the internet. Okay, actually, I didn't expect her to put the blame on um, Saki, which I thought that part was pretty funny, but, like, but, I don't know, like, it's just, I'm just not really feeling this arc, man, it's just... It feels like you're just forcing it with me and before we... <laughs> but, um, but I actually like the premise, like... like right, you enjoy it, I, but, I mean... I enjoy there's... the premise, and, like, and it... it sh- I think it's just this arc is just dragging on. That's like my main problem. Like, mm-hmm. like I just want this to be over with so I can do something else. Like because you know, there's there's so much like other ghost stories they can do and like just the like, more yokai. I want more things of that. It's just this this part is just taking way too long. Mm-hmm. And like and there's still like and there's more still more mystery going on with um with uh so with like Kuro and um his cousin Rika where like. Like their family secrets too. Like they can still go more in depth with that, but it's just like we have to solve this one mystery first, and it's basically mm. taking like like more than half of the season already. So like, yeah, like I'm pretty sure this is that's how this was in the manga too. But like, I think this what this format works better in a manga format, like because I think it would have been better. You can follow it along more. But just like in this this anime format, it's just, it's just been dragging on. Like, so and it's kind of disappointing just because like it's from the same author as Blast of Tempest, so like, you know, you expect you're expecting like kind of same quality there. But there's no there's no tension like Blast of Tempest. Like you, where they're they're basically fighting. They had like a time limit, so there's more tension there. Whereas here, it's just like it's just it's you know Monster of the Week format. Where it's like each arc is just a different like mystery they gotta solve, but they only, they only basically solve like one one mystery and then this this, this is a second mystery, but it's taking like more than half the the season. So like I don't know. I just really want this arc to be over. <laughs> even though, even though, like parts of the arcs are interesting, but it just drags on. Like it mm. they could at least definitely like cut it down cut down this arc in half. I don't know. I can't. I don't even think there's much I want to say just because, like, yeah. So, would you recommend it to others then, or not really? At this point, I wouldn't. I think most people get bored. <laughs> All right. Like, I guess I ain't watching that. <laughs> which is a shame because the premise is interesting, but like, yeah, this this arc is this arc is dragging on. So, if anything, just like maybe read the manga because I think you can speed speed through this arc. But it is, yeah, this. It's pretty boring, which it's just because it's disappointing. Because I remember early in the season, I had it as one of my top with mm-hmm. Invaded and Monoka. Now I, I wish I caught up to Monoka instead of this. Monoka is definitely more interesting. 
All right. So I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Yeah, there's not going to be much to say for this. Hmm. So that's going to be it for uh, this episode. Um, man, look, look who's back. I was here all along. <laughs> you just didn't know. Uh, sure, so, sure. Damn. Yeah, I got Danny eating, and then I was just like, yeah, I'll just leave the camera off. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> yeah. I want to see your beautiful face. So, uh, it's okay. There'll be off. more, many more weeks of this. So we yeah. like three more, three. I think three weeks. I, can't, I don't remember when. I don't know like when the shows are end on either episode twelve or thirteen. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I was just talking about just you know, not just this season, but you know, seasons on. Okay. Yeah. I thought you meant like I'm. I'm just saying winter is almost over. Like we got. Thank God. Yeah, a couple more weeks of this. Um. Yeah, I just don't know when. Like when the last episodes are gonna be. We're probably just gonna do. Whenever like the last episode airs, we're probably just gonna do like a preview, uh, like a recap of like our thoughts of like what that of that show. And then, and I don't know how many. I mean, really, I have two two shows to talk about. That's yeah, that's, well, about, much, that's my but recap. It's gonna be it's gonna be fairly short. And then like first week of April, is probably we probably have that as like week one of spring. But it's probably just gonna be a preview episode of coming up because not many shows air until the week after. Mm-hmm. The only one the only noticeable show would be um. Would be uh, Tower of God. So that's like the only noticeable. Oh, yeah. That's like the that only one. noticeable. I keep hearing great things about that. that Tower of God? Yeah. 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 So I'm, ex- I'm excited. If it's anything, for it. I heard, it, like, what I've seen so far, it, it's pretty good. Verbatim of what a friend of mine has told me, it is Korea's One Piece. Ooh. So that's a lot to live up to. I mean, it's been going on for yeah. a while. So. The, the only thing I'm worried about is just like what they've shown. The animation just looks so weird to me. Listen, bro, we all start somewhere. <laughs> all right, Tren. But right. you want to go back what? to day one of Naruto and look no, now? Hold right? on. <laughs> but I can get used to it because I thought, like, right. when I first started Mob Psycho, I thought it was the worst animation you could possibly get. And I fucking love it now. So the there's always that, that chance. Yeah, like, if you love Bob's Psycho, you cannot complain. All right. Yeah. You, you cannot so complain. It's just I, like, I, don't still, think I still don't think it looks that bad. I don't know what you're. Complain while it's trying. I'll give it a sh- I'll give it a shot, but I, well, I've only seen trailers. See, like yeah, I'll wait till the episode. In the trailer, so. I don't see what you're seeing. I don't see it that bad. Dude, David, that's why we have glasses. <laughs> okay, that's all we all. That's have like glasses. that's why like three of the Touché. four of us are blind as a fucking bat. <laughs> oh no, this is just for that's a, a style statement. It, I don't need these. Sure, man. Whatever. All right, it's making fun of my disability. <laughs> Jesus. All right, um, yeah. yeah, so whoever's been watching, uh, thanks for sticking out all of us. But yeah, this this season, other than Q and Hero and Id, it's it's been kind of rough. Well, I mean, even even like Q and and Hero Academia, it's like we've been complaining how it's not, it's not, it's they're supposed to be like the mainstay or the anchor of the season, and they're not like it's yeah, they're pretty been, slow growth. Yeah, that's why it, yeah. It, that's why this season just drags on even more. So spring will be our our uh, our prime. Even though Rizzo got delayed, which I'm so sad about. I don't care. That, it's Snafu. That's you, Shred. You're just a hater. When, oh, Sna- on, when Snafu goes, you're just a hater, Shred. So. Okay. Yeah. Right. Me, 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 much me, me and Ku will mourn Rizzo when spring it's, comes. Yeah, then you guys can talk about it in the summer. And, yeah, and then whatever. Oh, you know you're watching it. It's okay. And then I'll go and eat. Hell, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done okay. All right. we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it later. All right. So okay. that's going to be it. So I want to thank. Uh, thank the listeners for listening to this. Still, for still like a two-hour show. So, I want to thank anyone who actually made it this far. That was David's fault. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I want to thank the panel for joining me today. Thanks for. <laughs> thanks for all Anytime. your thoughts and comments. No problem. And we'll see you all next week. Bye. 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 Bye.